right, how's it going? Welcome back to more Tears of the Kingdom, which we are here with uh, Lord Fries, our new shiny horse. And well, I guess part of the adventure today, or one of the big things is gonna be doing dungeon number two, which is the Death Mountain one. But before I do that, I really want to get another fairy fountain first to get a couple more upgrades. Uh, Cause if we can do that and maybe get more of the flame breaker sets, that'll be awesome. And apparently we have a tip about it here. So let's start with that, you know, take on some big challenges along the way and uh, sooner than later we'll do uh, Death Mountain in the dungeon. So I am very excited for that. And yeah, welcome to everyone. Hopefully you're having a great Tuesday. This is stream number 13 of this playthrough. Oh, block. I wonder if it's possible to get crushed by one of those. I kind of don't want to know, but that'd be very unlucky. But first, hmm. <laughs> kind of walled in the back. We are very low on bows. Give him a nice little charge. Okay, you stay put, Fries. <laughs> yeah, we had a conundrum last stream trying to figure out the name for our horse. Uh, also, during a mini game, that was like impossible, but uh, we tried our best. What is all good now? First plunder, then kill. Let's see. I guess I don't need the traveler sword. Here. Let's sample out more of this. It's almost busted anyways. We were killing a Gliok with it, so those are durability destroyers. Oh, distract him with that. And then I'm gonna put it on a bit more stealth. Okay, the other guy see me. Is that a silver boss McCoblin? Oh no! That is the only thing that can interrupt that. <laughs> I've never seen one of those yet. <laughs> well, never mind of that, let's go. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> everything here can one-shot me, so let's hope that doesn't happen. Alright. Oh, <laughs> you keep getting distracted. You can keep throwing those rocks at the ceiling. Not very smart of you. Yeah. <laughs> What's up with that? Okay, you do an attack so I can counter you. Oh, you, I guess. <laughs> That's good. Okay, thank you, Tulin. Oh! Woohoo! I'm just very scaredy right now. Sneak strike, not really. You back up. This guy can literally end me if he wants to. He's got like a symbol on his head. That scares me a lot here. I need to counter something. Get a flurry. Woo! I cannot predict this timing at all. I've never seen one of these. Oh, I was about to flurry on that time. I can predict that, okay. Um, improve flurry rush. We didn't put anything on it though. So I'm just gonna keep going with this. <laughs> Go! <laughs> Come in his infinite health. Okay, we're getting his timing. <laughs> Still too dangerous though. <gasps> it one shots. Okay. <gasps> I didn't know what I was expecting with that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That was a good training experience. We do need a picture of him. But sometimes, yeah, if you have full hearts, it at least just brings you down to a quarter. But he does so much damage that it just insta-kills. Okay. How can we do this better, though? Because that was going rough. <laughs> okay. Death 
Connor Hyde. This is a way to warm up that I didn't expect. <laughs> Oh, what? Uh, okay. Go with this again. Two. Three. Get reapered. And then I will build something on this Royal Claymore. That's what we need to do. So cook that, and then we'll fuse it with a... Uh, I don't know, what's something extra good? We have a lot of really good stuff. Uh, Boko Horn. 31 extra damage. This is what we need. I feel more okay with this. Hey. 45 damage Royal Claymore. <laughs> Woo! Yep. Like that. Probably a one shot. Yep. But without the flurry, two shots. <laughs> It just adds that much. <laughs> I'm so surprised we didn't die. Got it. Shut him up a little bit. Tulin, you can finish, right? This looks kind of silly there. <laughs> I just don't know. Thank you, Tulin. Whew. Okay. Um, I think I can get a slight attack buff, actually. Just that one. Yeah. Slight, I say. But everything really adds up there. Thank you. I know how it's going to dodge that one. Much better. <laughs> this is like a uh, head tail looking sword. It's very good though. Tulin? I'll finish. <laughs> there we go. Goodbye. Spiky bat. That was very good. Tons of parts from these. Oh wow. And then. Oops. Just for the clear picture. It's like a giant tailsman. Silver boss with cobblin horn. Well, my first trophy, so we gotta take a picture of that. Um, there we go, a little sparkle. And more like that, actually. I'm gonna be a little picky with some of these. These look slightly better. 37, circular serrated horn. Neatly tied strap contains arcane power. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it has like the your triangle cross in the middle. It's all interesting stuff for sure. Um, and we don't need Bokoblin arm. That I can say for certain. Spiky bats? Okay. And rock hammer. Both good hammer weapons. Okay. <laughs> that was an interesting start. But only one death, yes. <laughs> Also, I do love long throwing these weapons because the throw speed. Throw long and far. Yeah, long throw is awesome in this game. Completely just changing my perception of everything I once knew. Not quick draws like the icky one. Still not as icky as long throw from Breath of the Wild, but still. Hmm. That was a neat camp. <laughs> All right, Lord Fries. Well, boss bacopins are kind of colossal enemies, but I know a dungeon's gonna be more colossal. If we find more Gleox today, uh, even more of the constructs, the big ones. There really is always a camp. What a shrine, okay. Oh, there's a whole archer post right there. Shouldn't be a problem. With a bit of battery. We have just a bet. My controller keeps drifting in its gyro. 
It has like a left drift to it. It's like, ah. Uh. I'll take this one personally. Ah. It would be very personal. Oh, wait. Wrong ability. Why is there a map thing? Okay. You go backwards. I will loot you first. Then we can go. Got it. And then I'll take this up. Oh. You're a little too close. <laughs> Swiggly horn. <laughs> Creature. Now. Put those fire fruits to good use. Oh. Yeah. I, I knew that. Ow. He activated my desperate strength though. <laughs> Which he almost just ended with life. <laughs> Watch, I can't headshot him because he has a shield. Yep. Hate that. <laughs> Ooh, thank you. Oh! Headbutt! Oh my god! I'm not used to that yet. <laughs> Usually moblins just scream and then get mad, and that's your window to attack. But now they fall up their scream with a headbutt, and I'm not used to that. <laughs> not at all. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's where strength only works when you don't get hit. <laughs> okay, slightly better. Plan of attack. There we go. And for this one... Uh, I don't think I can hit that from there, so I'm just gonna use a bomb. Make it easy. The bomb should have set off the others. Yes! <laughs> Holy crap. The knowledge of knowing that was there. So good. Hey. Hey! Here we go. Let's talk. <laughs> uh, the exact appropriate time to talk about Kakariko. Alright, he wants to make this a horseback battle. Go Lord Fry! So <laughs> Demolishing his health bar. There's a lot of damage now. Shields, are we good? I, I think we're... Yeah. <laughs> that is good. That. Easy 20 arrows from all that. Think smart, not hard. Oh! <laughs> he thought not smart or hard. <laughs> Wait, how could... Yeah, how good could a horseback battle be right now? Because horses used to just do like 30 damage in Breath of the Wild. One hit, dead. A bet. Oh, <laughs> the jump. Okay, against the silver, not really. That's, uh... Chill out, please. That. A little spin. Then. Crack him. <laughs> okay. Let's get serious now. What's a good bully method? <laughs> of course. <laughs> and then hit the flurries. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. At least I kind of knew it was coming this time. Sorry, Mind's Eye Shield. Okay. Oh, just... yeah. Royal stuff is too OP in this game. Yay. Well, not bad. I would do the looting, then I guess hit up the shrine. We have, like, about... Or a little over a third of the shrines done in the game. Assuming the max is 120. Still. Which it might be, because I feel like it's like, uh, you know. You max out the same amount of heart and stamina, so. Three away from max. 
Because 120 shrines got you all the way up to uh, 27 hearts and three wheels. Unless there's like another heart container in this game or something. But I doubt it. Fire. So, hmm. Yeah, this is like right by the plateau. This obviously wasn't here last time. This pillar was though. All the zoning ruins still stay. There used to be a, ch a chest down here. Right. <laughs> Play by the rules. Okay. And some trickier ones right there. Oh. At least they're kind of nice in that way. Kinda. Okay. We do need more bows. I'd love to go back to the cold area to get some more Rito bows, honestly. Because you just have that really good range. Even the quick draw is fun. Uh, here's good for now. Yeah, our goal is to go south right now. We're trying to get that uh, next fairy fountain. So to go across the Bridge of Hylia, which I'm pretty excited for, and then to that stable. Then once we do that, yeah, we should be good. Go back to Death Mountain to get more armor and climb up the mountain. Yeah. So yeah, welcome to everyone who's tuning in. Hopefully you're having a good Wednesday again. Uh, so. Whew. This is going to be exciting. I can't wait to see what the second dungeon's like. Because the first one was really awesome. Another trial? Shrine imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. Okay, it's one of these where it takes your stuff, isn't it? Upside equipment forbidden. Proving grounds beginner. Oh. Well, we did a harder one to start with in Death Mountain. Wait a second. No, no. Fully stealthy. No. <laughs> Doesn't quite, quite work the same. But you can do that. <laughs> Still know everyone's timing. Uh. Okay, so it's like a second swing back for him. It's okay. That one's not bad. Okay, they all have like a second swing that does right before their attack. Not him though. <laughs> Almost. Not yeah, exactly. Like. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm getting the timing. I do these shrines to learn, so. And would be an awesome rush if we had a weapon. I'm getting him, I swear. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Back up. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Easy for the parries for me. <laughs> you got it. Sadly, you can't loot them because everything's returned first. Okay. If you use fusing, you can make really quick work. Like, this one has a spiky ball in it. The uh, other one I did also had a spiky ball that was, like, hidden away. 
and that adds quite a bit of damage. But it's like with every tier enemy, there's always like a, well, some sort of variation with their attack. Like that one construct was like adding a little bit more delay to their attacks at the end. Um, it's kind of like Bacoblins, like a lot of early Bacoblins. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, the early Bacoblins will typically do like two attacks in a row. Like how it's like one, two, then they'll yell at you. But the later Bacoblins will do one, two, yell, and then a vertical one. So they kind of like switch up their attack patterns. And it's good to learn those now in like easy situations like this. Because knowing that in a big battle and then having a payoff is awesome. So it's like, I need to do that. I like stuff like that. I always take shrines as like little lessons in, uh, you know, the ways of the Zonai. Or taking down the Zonai. Oh man, it's so many new enemies to kind of figure out though. And in normal mode, it's easy to just dice through them, but I'm sure Master Mode's coming soon, and that's gonna be my, my default one to play. So the more you actually learn stuff in this mode, it makes Master Mode way more fun. Because it's likely this may be my only normal mode playthrough. Because it's like, you know, figuring stuff out for the first time and the experiences are awesome. But combat wise, you know, it's. I like the push. Okay. okay. I'm saying we have like most base things now. It's kind of nice. Cause like compendium, the materials like half. Monsters, we're getting up there finally. We just got the, uh, yep, <laughs> that all filled in. Silver Boss with Coblin and its respective horn. Oops. Oh, that would be materials, technically. But, like, yeah. 69, 126. So, at worst, we only have, like, half. Weapons about half. And then we have <laughs> all of these. I'm very surprised we got well, because I would have never f figured that out. We're just taking a picture of like a soup later or something, and there happened to be a wall next to it. So, yeah. We don't have that, okay. Uh, gotta all be in the frame. That's better. No sparkle for a mushroom. <laughs> Yay. Wonder if the mushroom man is back. Okay, Bridge of Hylia that way? I believe so. As soon as Lord Fries gets here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very speedy horse. Mogo will still be our tow horse, but... Oh. So fast I even missed the prompt. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Zone ruins. I kind of want to just tech out this. Right at the edge of our map region. Oh, we put a spring here now. And a cart? <laughs> you really want to make a spring cart? It's me. Let's make it easy. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> That's not easy. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, are you going somewhere far? Seems like you're facing where you need to go. Hmm. <laughs>
Well, that wasn't quite where I was heading, you see. I know where that is, so, so I'm not going to get detoured, because I was at that camp before. Um. <laughs> you know what we're doing. We're just going to fling you over. Stabilizer? Sure. And we have some parts. See, I get this now. Build a little catapult. <laughs> so I wonder if we can put the steering wheel on the car so we just go. It's a maybe. But it's okay. <laughs> Let's build a little catapult to get him over. Cut. Okay. So if it's too long, or too far, it might snap. But I think four pieces should be okay. So one, two, or maybe an end piece because it's big. <laughs> I see it now. I see it. Got this. Perfect. This will be more of the extender. Because the longer it is, the more force you have at the end. Okay, we can do it with one more. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this has got to be right. <laughs> and then one right here. Should be enough force. Uh, I fear we're a hair too short. Well, we roll with that. <laughs> yeah, we roll with this. <laughs> we have both of us on it. Not a lot of weight. Okay. <laughs> Take us over. Take us over. I said. <laughs> Take us over. Ah! Oh no! Korok! Wait! What's good? Yeah! Yes! Oh my god, it worked! He tumbled all the way there! <laughs> that was incredible! The Korok Cannon! Spatula Flipper! Yes, he got spatula And that worked, like, 70% of the way! <laughs> Sticky 100, Korok! I'm actually amazed! Here. You get tied in the fruit too. Fruit Korok. These guys need to die. <laughs> um, mm, I have a plan. Burn the cover. It's okay. You got this, Korok. They're gonna start seeing each other. You got it. There we go. <laughs> Let you guys duke it out. <laughs> and in the meantime... Yep, <laughs> you guys can blow each other up. That's totally cool. <laughs> Jeez! The bat just got batted. Okay. I'll leave you guys to it. I think this is okay. <laughs> and we'll loot the aftermath, how about that? Uh, way across, uh, way across. Mm. Mm. Fuse him to my weapon. Care no, uh. Well, there's stuff over there. Is he okay if we just drag him in the water? I don't want to... 
be uncertain about that, though. Last thing I would want is to lose him. You know what we do? That. That's fine. They just kind of decimated themselves. <laughs> you should float at least. There. Do a little more just work. <laughs> We bring you halfway. We should be able to meet you in the middle, right? <laughs> Don't draw, Mr. Korok. Trust me, you know what I'm doing. I'm a building expert. <laughs> no! We need this to catch. Uh, I can save you! Take it! Go! Like that! Good! We're getting you across. We're going to make sure away. Perfect. No, not perfect. No. Oh, perfect error. Still blowing each other off back there. I see. Yeah. Fresh from the monster camp. Take this. Yeah, we'll break it too. Break off. Hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was worth it. <laughs> we, we love those extra seeds. That, <laughs> there's so many amazing things can happen in this game. It's it's truly the best. Okay, but now what we do... We're still duking it out, but... We... Can go back. Steal all the spoils of that encounter. What a fight. <laughs> the silver's almost dead, but still silver. Oh! <laughs> I got him hard. <laughs> oh, there's... Oh, he just finished this fight. <laughs> That's the uh, Construct 4, isn't it? Okay, we gotta be careful here. <laughs> this still will destroy us. Oh, and he isn't conscious for He's a captain. Ah. Uh, that's better. <laughs> oh, captain. <laughs> Good. I could use this construct bow, actually. We had just all things we couldn't really use too much of. Mm. What did I just pick up? I know I'm missing a couple of these. Like, I got like most horns and stuff, but the construct one specifically I'm missing a lot. I just think not the captain. <laughs> Beam emitter? No. <laughs> They're very weak, actually. Sadly. Okay, yep. Yeah. That's one of the few we're missing. <laughs> Get this one and a couple others. Perfect. We have like at least half the compendium, so might as well keep going. We're mostly full on enemy stuff, though. Some of them not as much. Ooh. He's got that cannon shield. And that's the tier four, okay. He did not get distracted by that. Ah, uh, no flurry. Thanks, Tulin. Good flurry. Okay, I want more chainsaw. Give me that. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Too much damage. Yay. Good. Take the arrow cut stuff. Oh, cannon shield. Right. Uh oh. Don't. <laughs> Thank you. At least you got it. Cannon shield. Uh. Other than wooden, I'm sorry. You take it. And. Two. Okay. <laughs> Pretty good cleanup we did. We took care of the little ones. 
All for my glory. Oh. What's wild is that, uh, those construct things, they kill up a goblin, uh, they can fuse one of their horns through their sword right afterwards to make it even more powerful. So they do, like, rank up in that way. Interestingly. Also, that's a Korok thing. Apparently my goal's going back, though. Ah. That's why they put that there. Ancient blade? Wait! That looks like a, an ancient arrow. An ancient dagger-like blade. It's too small to wield as a weapon, but can be used as an arrow. Oh! I think I know exactly what this is. Like, to a T. Oh, I can't even... Don't even tell me. Ancient arrows! There's still ancient arrows in the game. So it's probably disintegration thing still. I was not expecting that. <laughs> well, that's cool. <laughs> Oh. Oh. I need to. There's no, like, ancient enemies, so it's more about a disintegration thing, though. Oh. Yeah, I mean, you got the Justin. Not really. Oh, wait. Remember, something falls into water. <laughs> That's what recalls for. <laughs> it was there for like a split second, so yes. Yep. Cannon, yay! <laughs> a cannon in the water. Pirate ship. Come find us if you like a dream home. I feel like we can get a house that way, so. Got a picture of Frank the Frog there. <laughs> That's quite nice. So I see a little cork pedestal. Yeah, I wonder if there's just like more slots in this game because. In Breath of the Wild, you could spend about, like, 49% of your Korok seeds. It was, like, almost 450. Not quite, though. Um, but this, is just, it seems like there's more bow slots, because some of the slots aren't reserved for elemental arrows. You could probably use more now in this game. Or rather, it's required to have more to max out, too. Okay. Uh, what's that? What? Is that a depths pool? There's also another depth thing there. And a giant spike. What's above it? Huh. Neat. Beats me. <laughs> That's like a reverse Koroxy puzzle. Because I believe that puzzle was in Breath of the Wild, like that boulder hole right there. So it's like, you're doing it in reverse. Bring the boulder up the hill. This is interesting. Rise. <laughs> At least we got this. Yeah, Lord Fries. <laughs> Yo, what's on Scout's Hill? <laughs> oh, still is a Korok. <laughs> 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 
Rapid fire. Probably here, then. Yep. Nice. Okay. 30. Also, what geoglyph is that? It's like a... Fancy head frog looking thing. Oh! Oh! <laughs> That's a Gliok! <laughs> a fire one! You know, I was half expecting that because uh, that was like the one small thing that they show off in one of the early trailers. There was like a very far shot of the Burge of Hylia and you can just barely see a three headed thing. And when I fought my first Gliok, I'm like, wait a second. That's like semi familiar from the trailer. Oh boy, that's gonna be fun. We fought the electric and frost ones. Hmm. So what was I checking? I was checking out that uh <laughs> thing on the wall before I got just vastly distracted. Rightfully so. Um is there a sword symbol in it? There is. Yeah, so the order must be very late. Okay. It's like second to last, according to that. So we're not doing that yet. I'm trying to be as cohesive as possible with the story. Besides the one that we did early. Green. Oh, common sparrow. So pretty, though. We can get a little closer. The duck there. Hmm. I spread out a little bit. How about that? There you go. If I can get slightly closer, I'm just going to keep getting closer and closer. But we keep the best one. One more, one more. No, that's okay. <laughs> Still a good one. So. Yeah, there we go. Common, <laughs> the red sparrow with his wings. So common, red, blue, rainbow, and then golden. So probably one more here. But I like that. I can take decently nice pictures. This one's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> I like this one. That's, that's irreplaceable. This twin cuckoos. Not all of them are going to be golden, though. Let's try your best. Bird. It's alluding to the wing glider here. But I feel like if we're taking down that uh, Gliok, horse is the best way. Also, like, what is that? Rising. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'm just gonna go straight for it. <laughs> we need to take down some colossals already. But wait, what about this camp? <laughs> Distraction, it's right here. I feel stupid passing it up. Oh, that's a bomb. Okay, Fries, you can handle that. Thank you, see? <laughs> I don't know how you got off, but... That's good for all of us, I think. Okay. Wait, Bob. No, no, no. No, the bomb! Oh! He kicked into me! <laughs> Wait. I mean, I'm glad you lived. Okay. Um. Ah! Go! No, the wind's gone. Wait. It just. Nice. <gasps> Jeez. Okay, uh, get what I need and get out. Yep. 
Royal Claymore attack up. It's really good. You know what? I'm gonna free slot. Desperate strength, you say? Perfect timing for it. Huge damage. Oh, it two shot him that way. Okay. Now is not the time to get hit. Uh, do we have any more desperate strength? Doesn't look like it. Oh, distracted by Tulin. That's okay. Uh, we do have Flurry Rush weapon though. Silver Bacoblin Pikmin sword. One handed are easy. Oh, <laughs> at least that works. Bye bye. Nice. Hmm. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff. Keeping that as a backup hammer weapon. That is a sturdy, though. Yes, sturdies are better for the sake of being a hammer. I will miss the long throw on this, but... Practicality. Now we can eat up. Mm. Crunchy fried rice. Wait. Right there. Uh, why not? We don't have any desperate strength stuff for the Gliak fight, sadly. Probably still a likely one shot, and that's okay. Okay. Mr. Building Man and a cave. Mr. Building Man first. We're almost at the Gliak now. Might be a night battle at this rate. Also, oh. What the? <laughs> That's not a very good sign. I don't know why you went to building school. Okay. Wait right there. If we got it under, technically it might actually work. Yeah, because if it falls, it's going to fall by, like, hardly. Uh, but I just realized that the counterweight needs to go the other way, too. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll be a mess. <laughs> you do that. And that. And then... A little bit of something here. Hey, Gerudo. Oh. <sighs> I know I caught away this pretty bad, so let's make up for it just by putting a little, little slab right there. Yeah. What, what do you want, actually? <laughs> Done being scaredy. Ooh. Hmm, Lucan. Oh. Appear to be a normal traveler. Forgive my impolite stare. Gerudo soldier on a mission to hunt down the Iga clan. Iga, if you're lucky enough not to have met them. <laughs> we met plenty. Rascals who elect to accost travelers on the roads. No. Masters of Disguise. Yep, and then they strike you down. Ooh. Keep an eye out for them. Thank you, Lucan. Ah. Try letting go. Mm -hmm. Oh, front to back weight. Uh, that's one thing I didn't quite think of. <laughs> Shove my whole invention to the side for that. He's such an awkward one. Like, what are you doing? What have you created? That's fine. And then... That's the usual way I do. I'm just so thrown off by the newginess of this sign. I don't know what to do. 
Yeah, that's probably fine. Are you a little crooked for this one? No? You're standing. <laughs> okay. Give me 20 rupees, a useful sleepover ticket, and some helpful food, maybe. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Rapid. <laughs> mm. Thin meat. Oh, puff shroom. Ah. Thank you. I'll take that over the sleepover ticket I'll probably never use. Because I tried that out a little bit ago, and uh, yeah, it just basically covers the cost of a bed, which is only 20 rupees. Uh, but you don't get any pony points for doing it, so it's worse than just paying the 20 rupees. So yeah, not too worth it for me. Sadly. You don't even tell me you're very far. Um. Close. We'll leave you be. I expected like a little uh, cave over here. Yeah, that Gliok. Just like, uh oh. There's the arm. Hmm. I got gotcha, you, don't worry. It's gonna be somewhere stupidly far. It just like. Where was it now? Unless it was in that one. There used to be like a little cave around here. Which I would assume would be a bigger cave in this game. Oh, what the? <laughs> what type of bird was perched here? Oh, wait. Don't even tell me that's a Korok puzzle. Wait. This is very out of place. Uh, that, that's cool. It's repairing Korok puzzle. That's a crafty one. Oh, I like that. It reminded me of, uh, yeah, like when you build a little stable thing in uh, the Gold Landing. You have to, like, re put the shingle on. That's a cool one. Okay. <laughs> I dig that. Sorry, I'm still looking for this cave. Don't worry, Gliak is coming. Very excited for Gliak, but... We have... Oh, wait. Try again. <laughs> the game of a thousand million distractions. It's okay, we still have a mental checklist. I have not been able to get any dragon parts this game yet. If I could change that right now, I would love to. Right? Our bow won't reach though yet here. We can just get a little lower. Or if I can get a little higher. Wait. Gotcha. Right there. I was like, that's how you have to do it. Meet in the middle. <laughs> Alright, I'll meet you there. Yes! I think that's how you gotta get him now. <laughs> Just be very careful, Thunder. These bow's good range, but not infinite range. Just charge it just for maximum safety. There we go. We can get our first dragon part. Woohoo! As long as it's not in the water. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ferocious horn. That looks a little different. I wonder if we can fuse weapons with these. 
26. A sharp horn or the golden spear, it's Feroche. It's said to be the crystallized power of electricity itself. Attach a blade-shaped horn to a weapon to vastly increase attack power. Okay, we can make dragon weapons. I'm so glad we finally did that. Uh, I wonder where that is. Oh, all the stuff down here. Yeah, so it's probably one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. What? Wait. Hmm. Maybe there's not four different parts then. Because horn, claw, fang, and scale used to be. So, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, and then something else. Maybe. Yeah, it beats me, honestly. Or maybe the scales you can't take a picture of. But the fangs and claws you can use for weapons. So that's cool in itself. Okay, let me check that one cave really quick. And we'll do this. I'm happy we got that. Yay. out that cave from Breath of the Wild. There's all new caves, but the one that did exist seems to be a bit sealed. Unless I'm missing it? Maybe it was this rock. Yeah, it definitely was one of these two. Uh, fruit distraction. Yeah? Okay. Cave was sealed in. <laughs> Interesting. It was just a little cave with like a core puzzle in it, I think. Maybe some gems. But still. All the caves got opened up that didn't exist before. But some of them closed up. Gliak battle. The Korok's probably on the other side of the river, so we probably have to kill the Gliak first anyways. Unless it's that little island. In that case, well, now's not the time anyways. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Fiery heads. Bridge of Hylia. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> the stare down. <laughs> Be a bit more centered though, right? Of course it does. <laughs> Show respect to this guy before we tear him down. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> more centered. Whoa. Oh! No! I have no respect for that. <laughs> okay. Well, the picture sucked anyways. We need a new one. <laughs> yeah. Look, I'm just trying to be photographer here. Sometimes it's safe. No, not that time. Okay. So horse isn't really going to work here without losing our horse. And I don't want that. I say we just figure it out here. <laughs> oh, man. See, so better picture right off the bat. <laughs> now we save. Okay. Oop. Yep, get a bow ready, get some ice fruit ready. Unbearable heat. Oh, I didn't expect that. Um, maybe flame resistance, not heat resistance. Potion? <laughs> 
Uh-oh. We do hot weather attack. But okay, heat resistance. That's our only one. Well. That's the only way, then. <laughs> and I can't stack bots like hot weather attack here. Cut. Zigzag a bit. We have to get close somehow. I just don't know how here. Underneath. And then ascends. Okay. Like that. Good. Gotcha. This should be enough to take him out. Yep. Go. All right. We kind of have the wrapper on figured out. No, he needs to die. We can't get blown off the bridge either, because that would be bad. Um. Improve for rush. You can't do that here. Uh. Don't have any desperate. We do have a bit of desperate strength on that, but that's not the move right now. Just okay. Just penny damage. <laughs> yeah, it's all penny damage. That's all we can do. It's gonna blow me back, but it's fine. Oh, good hit. few reps, that's all. <laughs> Come on. We got him! Did we? Unless we missed. We missed. Damn it. No! Tulin! Carry the weight! Ah! No! Tulin, you have to do some damage here, buddy. <laughs> Woo, we got it. Go. Just gonna keep spinning him. Oh. And that's how we get the half. Okay. Ice rod. I don't think that's gonna do a lot of damage. Mm. Sneak strike, flurry rush, not good stuff. Uh, Mighty Zona Longsword. What can we put on there? I'll say that for another one of these. The spear. Okay. <laughs> it's thinking time. Zona spear. Um. I might just go with one of these. Save it for a reason. There we go. Make use of it. Good. We just barely got it. Okay, keep going. Oh no, it's badly damaged. This bow's been helping so much. This bridge is always going to be a threat to cross now. I'm not ready for that. Go! Pound him. This is that final phase, at least. That's all we need. Yes? Oh, wait, maybe past it, maybe past it. No. Not getting any final phase here. <laughs> yes, I am. No, I'm not. Uh, the unaccounted for. <laughs> Damn it. <sighs> Yep, we need our potion. Ooh, Korok. Uh, yippee! <laughs> what a nice break. Please. I'm scared for what follows. His air phase. It's gonna rain meteors or something that'll kill me instantly. Whoa. 
I need a peek at what's above. No idea what's happening. Uh, let's wait a moment. I need to see what's happening. Nothing good. Okay, let that explode, then go up right after the aftermath. There we go. Maybe there's a gust I can ride? I need to get close to him. Yes. Oh, gotcha. This is it. Not enough damage. Last zone Ipo. Has your name on it. Go! Slam down! We did it! Yes! Fall damage deaths. How does that feel? We've been through too many ourselves. Nice! And that's the final Gliak down. At least as far as I'm aware. Okay. Gliak Flamehorn. Okay, that was awesome. <laughs> Using the bridge like cover is definitely the best strat. There we go. Crawling like fire imbued horn of the Gliak. So we got them all now. At least it seems like it. Yep. Fire, flame, frost, thunder. We saw the thunder one first, but we fought the frost one first and beat it. Uh, or rather, yeah, we fought this one and saw it first, but we beat this one first because we wasn't able to do that one. But that one wasn't too bad. Uh, the frost one was really cool because it rains the ice uh, spikes. Um, for the final phase, yep, this is fire, this is lightning. You just ride the wind. But this one, you got to recall, like, icicles back up from a storm. So, that's definitely the coolest. But let me see, the compendium for monsters we got. Where are you? There we go, flame gl gliak, frost, thunder. Yes. <laughs> Fighting it alone is inadvisable. Creatures powerful flames within its body. When someone sets foot upon its turf, it'll engulf the intruder in a fierce blaze. That was pretty fierce. But a new titan is dead. Whoa. Pats on the back for that. That was great. Opal from the cart. Good. Now, uh, yeah. My goal is still the stable, but we're kind of gradually making our way there. Can't wait to get that final great fairy thing. Hmm. Wait, let's check the Bridge of Hylia. Heat resistance is finally out for the fight. I don't want to go on any, uh... <laughs> Loom holes. I take a path down to something. Great plateau at some point. So. It'd be interesting going to the, well, what was the starter location of the last game? See what's new with the temple. <laughs> the normal temple of time. <laughs> Not whatever the zone I want is. Also, did they? <gasps> no, they patched it. They patched the cell shading spots. Used to be when he went in here, uh, all cell shading would get removed. <laughs> That's one thing I didn't want them to fix. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> it makes sense, but still. <laughs> this time there's no loot up here. Oh wait, aha. Gotcha. Yay. Okay. Just to get this quark over. Because, like, the more that I skip, like, oh, I'm not doing that now, I will forget. If the goal is to get them all, then we shouldn't not commit. A little boats. Yeah, boats are cool. You go. I'm just right there. 
If you roll, we'll bring you back. <laughs> Not in the water. <laughs> I'm gonna take you above the water, Korok. This is really fun though. Thank you guys uh, for watching and being here. And yeah, once we do everything with the game, there's gonna be a lot to talk about, so. I am excited for that part, trust me. You just see more clips of like other people playing too. Um, and you'll see some more stuff in the Discord server uh, or just anywhere. And I can, well, just try to do some of those things. Even like cool building things. Probably the easiest to figure out stuff to build if you're actually just online a lot, because you can look at, you know, everyone can share their creations, but. And uh, object to stay away from spoilers. That isn't what I was doing. <laughs> Which I'm sure people built like absolutely insane stuff. <laughs> Where physic knowledge pays off. So I think this could work. It's a bit unconventional, but as long as we can get a float. And yeah. I don't see why not. It's an inconventional way of doing this, but it was propped up in the past. What? Ah. I had I had a good thing going. That's okay. That's better. Wonder if this will work the way we're hoping to. Oogie. Well, not when you go off like that. I just don't know. It's like, why is it giving me those parts? <laughs> Can I? Mm, not quite. <laughs> well, why do you give me those parts then? <laughs> I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> But I am a fan of this. <laughs> Wait, a little more front weight should be good. It doesn't actually have to be at the back. Let's go a triple. Fans are plenty. Yeah. And the one in the back to balance that out. <laughs> I don't mind. But we can turn it. Oh, I guess we could with just the fans too, but... Yay. And then when we get on land, it'll be a land vehicle. See, we're smart. We, we figured this out. Too. More battery could be awesome, though. I can agree with that. Too. We're not there yet. Let's go... Ride the boats and whoever knows. <laughs> I like that just the jerk back and forth. Do 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 you're not a Korok. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You're a Korok. Yay. Goodbye. Oh, fishy. Those give pretty good stamina. Fish are usually either mid or high tier, never low. Oh man. The shrine's now a gloom pet. No thanks right now. <laughs> silver Lizzle. I think that's the only silver we haven't seen yet. At least of the main types. Saw the boss bacoblin today? Yep. We've seen the horn before though. For, on weapons. Yeah, it's a pretty good centered picture. <laughs> Ooh, level 3 stealth buff? Yeah! 
Because you have level 2 stealth buff with the uh, the armor. But the rain adds level 1. So you can freely jump and run behind him. Bye. <laughs> For a good single hit. Also, yeah, now me just noticing the improved sneak strike. Damn it. Flurry will do good. What are you gonna do? Oh, that one. <laughs> Not used to that yet. <laughs> All the headbutts. The monsters really started using their heads in this game. Ooh. Silver Lizzle Tail. I'll figure that out later. 31 damage. And yeah, I'll make a whip. <laughs> I love the whips. The Reaper. The rain pouring on it. Yeah. What if we did a more vertical? Yeah, I like this better. We got to make it cool. Much better. <laughs> Gets more in the frame. A sickle-shaped horn that looks like it could slice anything it touches. Well, we broke ours earlier, but it is a very cool one. To say the least. Okay, so close to the stable now. I can't wait for that. Because, yeah, just to recap, um, we were doing side quest. Okay. So Great Fairy, uh, we're looking for a Piper, well, a flutist player named Piper. Uh, they're missing, and there's a lead at the stable at Farron, which we're very close to now, so we're going to do that. Because that should lead to the second Great Fairy unlock, since they're all like in order in this game, it seems. So you have to do the first one first, then the second. It's more of like a quest line. So yeah, that is the goal. Any rocks that fell, please? Wait. Is that a cave? There's a glow, kinda. Kinda. The rain's gonna let up in a minute. Wait, we did get some swim speed, didn't we? Not in our armor, but um, slip resistance. Yeah, just right there. There we go. I don't think it really helps with that, but level one doesn't feel too effective. Phantom in the water. <laughs> Just eyes at sea level there, <laughs> staring at you. He's like a even more violent shark. Hmm. Okay. No sharks in these waters. We're mildly safe. Yeah, that is interesting. It's like kind of luminescent. Just very mildly. I was right. Is this a water cave? Oh, no way. It is. Coral Lakefront Cave. Oh, that's cool. Uh, that isn't, though. Mm, not that bow. Too strong for what we need it for. Okay, uh, break it because it deserves breaking. Interesting, literally a waterfront cave. I wouldn't have expected that. Yep. Yeah, a lot of. Oh, it takes you upwards. Better eightfold blade. Hmm. Well, I'd like a rock for this mining. 
Bucky Bat does a trick. Yes. <laughs> so interesting. <laughs> Since it's raining here, bombs probably won't be effective. Then again, I never tried that. Ooh. Wait, this is really cool. Yeah. Starting surface level. Boulder hammer. Um, give me a moment. Let's use up what we got. <laughs> Keep it up. <laughs> Collect it at the end. We still don't have a drill shaft. <laughs> we would really like a drill shaft. <sighs> oh, there we go. That's the luminous stuff. It just wasn't glowing right then. Let's just see if we can. Okay, you can. Or maybe just because it wasn't raining right then. <laughs> oh, no, not quite. Whole thing's a bit awkward. I don't think I do I need to keep going. Uh, I just like the commitment part now. Yep, I don't think it's too worth it. It was more just to signify that there was a cave here. Fish it. I see a guy up there. I could probably ascend into that after I do. Ooh, wait, we can start with the bottom and work our way up. Four blades? <laughs> you wanna go in the water? <laughs> I don't know if you're a good swimmer or not, but... You're not! Oh, the silver's mad, though. I see. How do we get it across safely? Not like that. <laughs> Shallow water. Oh, never mind. <laughs> That's all it took. One Tulin shot. <laughs> ah. That was a little prison, but it's a little something. <laughs> yep. Ah. Good for all the mining. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of good weapons. I just, um, not too sure what to drop at the moment. That's pretty good. We, okay, I know it's fresh, but I think we kind of made a mistake making that one. For a long stick, I prefer just to have the durable stuff to make hammers. Damage is not really needed because we just have a lot of damage output, but that'll be the next drop. Is there a reason to that little cage or no? I don't think so. Start with that too. <laughs> Try layer base. I kind of saw an enemy somewhere. Where were ya? There you are. Wasn't wrong. <laughs> oh. oh, there's many exits. Oh, it takes you down here. Okay. So it's like an interlocking kind of structure. Cave system. I like that. Get spiked. Three, four, yeah. And then, oh wait, I'm not a hammer. 
It just breaks auras because it does a lot of damage. Yep. Frenic! Okay. Our first sniper type bow. That's an axe. <laughs> Oh, you target distant en enemies as those nearby. We're just gonna first start with a. Uh... That's good. Just all the same zoom in. It does. <laughs> Yay, range bows. Surprised I didn't get a hammer yet. Yeah, I really didn't. Did I see any rocks? I just keep seeing stones. Which isn't helpful. Hmm. Okay, we'll build our own. <laughs> Horblin hammer. Basic. Yep. And a little bit of fuse. Yeah. That's why horblins are good. <laughs> That's much better. And all the clumps, too. Yeah! Still nothing will top the drill shaft, but... <laughs> it's a drill shaft before the drill shaft. Just drill hammer. <laughs> oh, my flint. <laughs> Take it out because it needs to go away. <laughs> oh, and broke that. Okay. What do we have for flint? Every hundred flint, we can get a thousand rupees. It seems so. We're we're getting close. It's still a neat little cave. <laughs> I like the ones that have just like multiple ways to get in. Just, you know, like a crossroads cave. Pull through the water. And escape from the Gliak if you didn't want to fight that. Uh, yeah. Let's see, bubble frog, and then. Get out. Yes. Also, where did that come from? Oh, was at the top. Jeez. Okay, um. Interesting. That's a big, uh, closet. Again, I don't know the Valley and Luminous Stones in this game too much. Because they sell for very cheap. So it must be a crafting material. It seems very connected to Zonite. The modern version, because similar color scheme. Uh oh. Got it. I don't think I was gonna sink too bad, but still a good catch. And bombs. Yeah. <laughs> it's still too sleek. Sleep. Sleep slick. Okay, now let's see what's over here. Oh. Must have just got hit with golden apple. Yay. Boss trail. More parts. I can do this all day. You know how? With the power of ice. Chill out. Oop. Like that. He shielded it. Go. 
It didn't hit as many as I would have liked. But that was nice. That's... My boomerang! Stop picking that one. Why is that the default map? No, I need to select my runes. That should not be on the rune wheel. Or the ability wheel. Okay, there's my sword. Sword, I say. Mm. Let's get flurry what All of our flurry weapons are currently not fused. Let's change that. Well, that doesn't count. Okay, improve flurry rush. Uh, <laughs> just go for a good part. The ancient. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder if it's fused to a sword. That could be something. Can we try it? <laughs> Let's, that would be mega OP if we had an ancient blade. Mm. I might wait because it's the only one, you know? That's okay. Play the silver parts, so it's just... Keep it up. Go. Nope. One for ones. Meat. Yeah, you keep dancing. Whoa! Oh no, he's gonna hit me into it. He didn't! <laughs> Thank you for being kind. <laughs> I appreciate the generosity. Wait, but you're dead! <laughs> he got like a graveyard hit. <laughs> Kabul was dead and he was still able to shoot him. <laughs> that was actually kind of wild. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah. Meaty hits. And the main boss, of course. I saw you watching. No witnesses. But plenty of extra meat. <laughs> Yay. Real claim more. Um, just for buffs curiosity, what is that? Thing? Attack of six. Hmm. We have a lot of good stuff. It just... That's durability up. Yeah. I don't have to refuse something. <laughs> Clearly damage is not a problem. <laughs> I can do a lot of it. Oh wait. I forgot to pick it back up. I'm like, wait a second. Or should we just have a new one because we have it? Screw it. I know we barely used it, but still. Because it could last longer, but it does more damage. 51. And the Flurry Rush buff maybe adds like at least 50% more damage if you're Flurry Rushing. <laughs> Which on Royal stuff, that's already OP. Makes it very OP. What's Kilton? Huh. Alright, this is where the tower was. <laughs> Clearly things have changed. Wait. Back and forth? Kind of. Gotcha. Play game. Is it Tulin's noise or uh <laughs> meeting the flower? Very similar effect now. No, nope, boulder's not yours. You're mine, though. Hmm. No, thank you. And you. And... Three little moblins. <laughs> Their screams in parallel. <laughs> Because the horn falls off first. Golden apples. No. <laughs> Good thing didn't blow that away. And Tulin secretly wants the worst for us. For all the times we misnamed him. Tipo or something. Tupin. 
Hoppen. Yeah. Used to be a huge patrolling ground. That's as if we cleared it out, too. Interesting. Oh. We have to go back to that one location of his because he kept talking about a very interesting island that was small amongst uh, the winter storms, but the storm was there so he couldn't point it out. But maybe it's something we can do afterwards. Oh. But that tiny island flowing in the distance may be the most mysterious of all. But it's blocked by the thunderstorm. Oh, okay. Maybe the tiny islands also refer to the ones with the, uh, the ancient text we can't decipher. That could be it too. Because those are tiny islands. So as soon as we get that ability, which we still, I don't know if it's tied to this or not, but. Oh so I keep finding golden apples. It's like more common than the normal thing. Like we found more golden apples than normal right just in the last couple minutes. Not all, of all time, just currently. Yeah. And I'm sure they fix this one too. Of course. <laughs> bye bye, anti -cell, cell shading. We'll miss you. It's a mirrored structure, so. The glitch existed on both sides. Oh. There's corks on both sides now. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Hmm. Shrine there, but that's kind of far. Do we take over our horse? Yeah, I didn't even think to bring my horse over here. A little too far. I think it was in mini maps range. So close. <laughs> Our goal is to stable, which we're very close to now, so. I'm gonna commit to getting that. Please, I know you're close. Lord Fries. What? <laughs> Maybe it just looks closer because it's such a straightforward path, but. There we go. Okay. It has to be kind of in that mini map circle. Chest under the bridge. Okay. <sighs> Where'd you go? What? <gasps> you swam? Wait, why'd you swim to me? <laughs> Lord Fries, <laughs> why must you swim? <laughs> You're worth greater than that. There's nice dry land up here. Uh, well, I guess if you made it that far, you can make it this far, can't you? Wait. Is it? Is it pointing us? Oh, <laughs> just there. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Wait. 
Did he just teleport? Don't even tell me he just teleported. That's okay, that was part of one puzzle. Uh, I'll just add a totally separate one. I think my horse just keeps teleporting according to the mini map. Also, there's an island right there, I see. Yep, okay. <laughs> I am quite sure of it. Let's see if I got that on camera. Yeah, look at the horse right now. The horse symbol on the mini-map. So, let's go look at it and bloop! <laughs> Just once more. It goes from, oop, a little back further. It's in the water in the mini-map and then bloop! <laughs> that is so funny. Probably Pluto has some sort of ability. There you go. The ability is constantly being elevated. <laughs> he is the Lord after all. <laughs> Let me go. <laughs> Your yeah, whirlwind will be an eventual checkout. Too. That seems like a, well, a rabbit hole for not rabbits. Change up her look a little bit. We got some interesting stuff on. Uh, I just like this look a lot. With the flowy hair. This legend look. Oh, not a one shot archer. Ooh, shock arrows. No thanks. Shock fruits, thank you. Probably get through the tower. Uh... Here's our boulder. <laughs> yep. Okay, this was an exact Korok puzzle from Breath of the Wild. And there was one right to the right of it, too. So I think like all the boulder holes, or at least a lot of them, you do in reverse in this game. <laughs> it really pays to have Breath of the Wild 100, just 100%ed before this. Twice. Uh. I wonder what this could be. It was a Korok tree before. <laughs> It literally follows, like, a lot of Breath of the Wild loot locations, Korok stuff, uh, you know. Because this used to have a tree on it, and then in the tree there was a Korok. But the tree's gone. The landscape is kind of similar. And still a Korok. <laughs> they really think hiding in the same place will work twice. <laughs> Silly guys. Well, more seeds for me. I'm sure we need even more to max out. <laughs> I have you yet? Or do I have water or forest? I don't remember. Okay, tell him I could close. Okay, water, okay. Now I go for it again. Unless you want to shoot him. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Oh, <laughs> killed that too. Okay, yeah, he's scared. We just massacred his friend. It's okay, you get a second chance. And you ruined that too. Okay, Tulin, <laughs> leave the babies to you. Yes. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I can protect against them, but you attack. Get him! Fiercest fight in Hyrule. Oh! you change priority. Those guys were mine. 
clearly useless. Wait, let's get him to kill his friend. Get him. Get him, Octorok. Come on, you're close, Octorok. I will dismiss you, Tullin, if you do this. <laughs> yeah, if you steal my kills. Get him! No! Octo, you gotta do this. Kill your friend. It's in order. No, not me. Break the shield before anything else happens. Okay. It's okay. Get him, Octo. Octo, you got this. I'm giving you this kill, basically. Yes! Almost a kill. Octo, do this. You got it. I believe in you. Octo, you're like a laser. Go for it. Kill him before he kills me. Get him. Get him. No, you missed. <laughs> okay, we got like a little bit left. This, these are the important battles here. Get him. Yes. <laughs> you killed your own friend. Now I can feel better about deforesting you. <laughs> Bring it, Octo. Yeah, this is the karma for that. <gasps> no! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> the one time we slip up. <laughs> I just really wanted to <laughs> do it the primal way. <laughs> the ways that failed us. Oh, of course we're here. <laughs> when did Octorok things do a whole heart? I thought they did half a heart. I was calculating that one. Maybe they always did a heart. Because I know they ignore armor. <laughs> Clearly my life and soul is ignored too. Bring it up for 47. <laughs> Deaths that didn't need to happen. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to be the slightest bit nice to you. Not even a pinch. <laughs> okay, we'll get better stuff this time. Ooh. You know, so that means I mean I need to take a picture again. This will be a better one, anyways. Kinda. <laughs> I like the eruption ones better than the... So in my case, that works. Oh, bit of a delay in that. Okay. What were those choo-choos and everything else mean? There you are. Ow. We're not going to stay in that boat again. Yeah. <laughs> Get a late swing. Oh, what are you doing? Shooter's just nice for the water stuff. Because it's nice to, like, you know, set enemies just, you know, wet so you can get, like, the shock stuff on them. Also, look, I was right about the second hole. <laughs> yep. This puzzle was in Breath of the Wild, and <laughs> you do it reverse in this game. It really is just the remix of Breath of the Wild. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> A billion times over clock. <laughs> it's okay, we got some parts, some balloons. And what else? No, it's just loose guys, okay. Also, that sparks curiosity. And a lot of big trees. It's like, are they? Is this a good one? <laughs> is that one we go into? Aha. Hey, not nice.
Also a bird is that? Oh, mighty carps. Good. Oh, wood pigeon. We don't have that yet. Uh, stealth, 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 stealth. Mm -hmm. That's a nice one. Not the fanciest, just a nice one, you know? Avoid line of sight. Eh? Ooh. I'm going to turn around. Yes, there we go. That's the picture. Like when you see those eyes. That's the pick. Yep. That's a really nice one. That's fine. Oh, we have all three Gleak ones saved, so we'll save that. That was just more of a silly. I didn't need that. And we'll delete them as we come to them. <laughs> it is hard to decide. There we go. Now we save. And the compendium filled. I usually don't like killing the ones I photographed, unless I forgot to. <laughs> Yell, easy headshots. <laughs> there we go. One. Slap him. Apples. They're plucking them. I love the little apple pluckers. They're silly guys. Take the apples first, then the strike. That's the way we like it. Stone two-handed axe. It's not like we need... I mean, durability's nice, you know? It's like, uh... <laughs> they're all nice, though. I, I don't know. We don't need two stealth strike weapons. And I know we just fuse that and it's new. But that has durability. And then we'll be wasting a part. Hmm. We can build a super sneak strike weapon with this. Let me see what I can do. Well. I think previously we used like a Horriblin hammer, which we shouldn't have. Gliok, Horriblin. Yeah, it was like that thing. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like to make a super one, we'll really have to go all out. A mace horn? A saber? I don't want to use my only one, but also... Super stealth strike weapon? With durability? Could be really nice. Silver Lizalfos. That's like a reefer one. Yeah, I'm doing it. We make important decisions here. Oh, I'll kill more of that stuff. It's totally okay. Oh, 50 damage. And for a stealth striker, that'll do just insane. Um, no, I would really like an axe still, so... I don't know. I'll figure that out in a moment. <gasps> There's still the butterflies here! Look, okay, this used to be an awesome butterfly spot in Breath of the Wild. Only problem is, you don't have Cryonis to get them now. Okay, but this has got to be a better picture than what we had. Ah. That's more clear for the compendium. As much as I like the quantity, you know? Clarity is much better. Also, build a log raft. I don't think it's going to work out too well. Yeah, I want to see if we can get these butterflies still. Temporarily.
Hopefully this doesn't scare him off too bad. I would like a little pickup device. Even that they're still pretty high up. It's like it was like made for Crownus and then wasn't adjusted. Yeah, like. <laughs> It's like they did not consider not having Crownus, I don't think. Aw, uh, that's a shame. We could get some fronds in this forest. Because I don't have a lot of fronds. We just, yeah, temporary. Bust up some stuff. I'm sure we'll need fronds for upgrades and... Plus they're just fun to have. So the floor station. Yeah. I noticed something about when you attach a frond to an arrow too. It makes it just have like a bigger area of hit. Because I remember hurting like three choo-choos at once with one arrow. Or I think it was three bats. But I think it does increase like the hitbox of the arrow. It's like flat. And that's on top of the wind quirk, of course. A couple more. There we go. He was the goat. His meat's standing. That's how you know the meat is nice and ripe. Thank you. I feel less bad. Frond. Uh, not a frond of that. Okay. See, so, you now we didn't have to drop any weapons for that because we just use its potential right now. Sunset Firefly. Eric. <laughs> Interesting way to spell Eric. Uh, Call me humming tune. I wrote Fren <laughs> Frenetic Dance of the Firefly. The name's Eric. I'm a free spirit who travels where the wind blows me. Once upon a time. Lost in a sea of trees. <laughs> Regain consciousness. It's an otherworldly place. <laughs> I think they call that a dream. Because <laughs> we're supposed to gasp. That was pretty beautiful. Enthralled by the firefly. Oh, so I have to shop in this beautiful place where I met the fireflies. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Invigorated by a firefly. They do sell them, and oh man, we found one of these before, but buy it for 150. That's pretty good. Too much for us, though, but still. I think I used my only one, which I maybe I shouldn't have, looking back. Okay, still cool though. Okay. The well, stable's like right here. So I guess we could just do it. Get a cool one where the flutist is for... The great fairy stuff. That's covering something. It's not a lion, usually. <laughs> Whenever you see those, yeah, like, orange covered, like, ferns, plants, and it's kind of like underneath, like, a sky rock. Usually a sun lion there. So that's a cool camp. <laughs> Drenched in sun. And there's a stable! Woohoo! And the shrine for the stable. And a military camp. Oh wait, is this where the third bastion is? I think so. Aww. Yeah, a uh, Captain Flaxel. We saw uh, Haas's squad first and then uh, Torrens, right? 
Those are the names? No, Flaxel. Matsu true squad. At least the first operation for each. Ah. A pirate ship. Oh yeah, there was pirates in uh the Bay Area. Or it was mentioned that they were in Lurelin. Interesting. That'll be fun to do. I feel like my goal today is still the Goron stuff after I get this stuff. Yeah, you gotta keep him fed. Well, thank you. A little tack food. <laughs> Help Flaxel. I probably shouldn't. But after this. Well, shrine, definitely. <laughs> Gust me. There's problems everywhere in this world. And it's fun solving them. You too, Sushok. You too, Shrine. <laughs> so, what could this be? Since we're in a new area, there's always like new contraptions to build with new areas. So, it's like, what's the contraption of this area? Long or wide? Paddle boards. Oh, hey, there's a drop there. Simply put, right? A little momentum. It's not even rolling to slid. Like, cool, <laughs> thanks. Take off this hat for now. There we go. Cool look. Yes. Prime and ready to fly. <laughs> kind of a cape beneath all this equipment. There's another one. Oh, more force. There's more weight. Get back. Pick it up. That's gonna launch it. Yep, it still just slides though. As long as we're not getting launched by it. The chest is there. Okay, so we need to ride something over. Um. Gotcha. Pedaled the long way. Lopsidedly, but... It'll still work. <laughs> Just the slides. It doesn't roll. These balls are dysfunctional. Minecart. Well, we gotta get on that. Oh, I see. Oh, never mind. We just take it, don't we? Aha! And then we work the paddle differently. Take us there. Uh, kind of. We just gotta stop for a quick second. There we go. Thank you. Uh, we can do this. <laughs> Get inside! Ready for the paddle? You are, aren't you? Yay! Now catch! No! Good thing we have that. <laughs> An easy catch to mess up. Yippee! <laughs> oh, gimme. Open it. Yay. Sneaky elixir. Interesting reward. 
<laughs> Occasional elixirs in these. <laughs> Launch. Now we go. I think we almost have enough orbs to get a uh, max stamina now, which was the goal. Light of Blessing. One away. I know there's one shrine on Death Mountain itself. So if we did that one after this, we would have eight. We can quickly warp back for the full wheel. And I assume after we get to the top of Death Mountain, that is the dungeon, so. Okay. Here, Piper. Yeah. Oh! I didn't expect you in the tree! <laughs> oh. Such good harmonies. Ooh. I love that. I love how they play along with the music. With them especially. Mm -hmm. Oh, Piper's so cool. Climb up here with me for some good reason. Bird calling? Need something? <laughs> Are you a stable trotter? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Troop is touring again. Do you want all the musicians back? First, I have something to do here. Have to take care of something? Uh-oh. Getting the band back together. Well, to help the fairies. Might hear about this from someone at the stable. What happened is there, there was a fire in the field. Burn the patch around us. There's some flowers here before. Hmm. Haiti lives at the stable. Been asking people if she could see a glowing tree. Huh. Glowing tree. I thought it was just a little tree and then a little fire and make a glowing tree. <laughs> Not that glowing. Really quick. Yeah. I'm sure it didn't work. I'm collecting fireflies. Oh. Well. <laughs> it's like, oh wow, how are we going to get a glowing tree? Hmm, have you seen any glowing? Oh, you just need fireflies. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have way more than 10. Thanks all those times I was just... Rummaging around in fields at nighttime. I knew it would pay off. Make the glorious of glowing trees. I'd like you to bring Haiti to the spot while it's still dark. If you don't have time, bring her on a different night. Well, it's still dark. Okay, let's meet Haiti. It just turned dark, so. Technically not here yet, but I'm sure in a moment. <laughs> well, later. Taking care of you're Haiti. Oh. No, you're not. <laughs> you sing at the late hour. I'll tell you about the area, Ifana. Ah. Lots of happy horses roaming free around Highland Stable. Yay. Take it north or south. <laughs> Scenic spots. Let's get scenic. The stable nearby. I guess the Farron one. Yeah, Lakeside Stable. Edge of Lake Floria. There's all the waterfalls. Then there's a resort town. Lurlin. Which I heard isn't as nice currently. Yep. Aww. Pirates attack Lurlin. So there's pirates all along the beach now. I'm excited for that. The pirates may just be like Bacoblins and stuff, but... <laughs> pirates nonetheless. Blame on me. Uh, first, ride north until you enter a thickly wooded forest. Travel east until you cross the Floria River, which I believe is the first river? Like where Cass was in Breath of the Wild? Yep, and then north into a rainforest. That's where the Spring of Courage was. Zone A ruins, yes. The previous biggest ruins. Besides, like, the mazes. And maybe Typhlo. The ruins that actually stayed and were here before the upheaval. 
Oh, but above the Zone Ruins is where that the Thunderdome is. Okay. Which only makes sense. Aww. Always above existing Zone Ruins. Okay. Maybe Shock Proof Armor could help for that. Ah. I guess, yeah, just keep going. Uh, lake Hylia. Your horse shouldn't go in the lake, even though it was earlier. <laughs> Not too long ago. That's fine. Monster was living on the bridge for a time. Oh, but some monster slayer sent the beast to an early grave. That was me. Oh, that's cool. That actually, somehow the ward got around already. Link's heroism knows no bounds. Or maybe just the journalism. Uh, a spot. Southern coastline. Puffer. Okay. There's waves. Yeah, cool waves. Uh, taking your horse on the beach will be a good thing. <laughs> Flying monsters, fun. But potentially caves. Oh, watch out for him. Yeah, thank you, Fauna. <laughs> Had a couple customers recently who weren't interested. What? They're headed south towards the lake of the horse god. Oh, wait, there was. I got. Uh, when I slept in Melania's bed. They told me that there was a special type of horse waiting by that lake. Because Melania, the horse god, isn't there anymore. But there's like a big white horse or something? Mm -hmm. Yo, there we go. Giant white stallion. Or the god of horses. Ah. Okay. Strange animal? St stocky animal. Whiter than a horse and has strange horns. And looked brute. Saw the animal once in the forest off to the east. Huh. Mm -hmm. My lakeside stable. Yeah, something about some sort of beast I keep hearing about. Oh. Haiti! Oh, there we go. Piper isn't back. Follow me. Huh? <laughs> Takes him down the well. Oh. Wait, I, don't, I don't see a tree. Oh, pen's right there. Okay. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> like making monkey-esque noises. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> what the hell is the glowing tree? Uh, or was it supposed to come back a different night? Oh. Hey, but it's telling us. Where's the tree? <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to sleep or something first. Maybe it has to come back a different night. Rock, of course. Also, hi. Yeah. Was well, very seen. The horses were on fair and grasslands. Grew up training the horses. Polished my riding skills till they shine. Oh. Guaranteed to push even f further. Huh? It's a race to see how fast you can gallop around the course without losing the ca cargo off the horse's trailer. Oh. oh. It's like the horse mini game, but with cargo this time. How does it work? Oh. Can't let the cargo fall off. You have to run the 10 checkpoints. <laughs> Let's do it. Mm. I will take Moga. Yeah. Hey. Up, no. up after sundown. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Ah. Take horse. Oh. <laughs> Not all my original horses. Uh, Moga. I wish I could resort them to put my new horses above. <laughs> but it makes sense that they carry over. It was like your first adventure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, giant white stallion. Hmm. That'll be interesting to check out. 
Uh, pens or mini game first. Pens or mini game. Pen. <laughs> oh. Let's do it. Ah. Entry fee. Okay. <laughs> we gotta make our money back somehow. Horse of the trailer. Yes. Aliup. <laughs> Mogo's not a super speedy horse, so it should be fine. But Mogo has good pulling power. Ah. Oh. Ooh, okay. Big ranks. So you gotta be speedy, but also controlled. We can do this. This is interesting. My third mini game. Let's mm -hmm. hope it's not as hard as the last one. <laughs> we gotta hit a bell. Uh, can't get off your horse. <laughs> One minute and zero seconds. Oh. <laughs> Could have just said 60 seconds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Try doing a mi minute, one minute 30. Oh, okay. It's okay. I don't even think that I'm gonna be, yeah. If anything, I could probably gun it. Cause Moga's not super fast. So I probably don't have to worry about it sliding off. Maybe slightly. If we whip it around too bad. Oh, there we go. I don't know if we get the jackpot right away. That'd be kind of cool. I can't depend on that. Just hit nothing. Hit nothing. Come on. We got this. We got this. Make something easy to mess up, you know? Yeah. Oh my god. Yes, under a minute! Huh. Oh no! No, it's right there! Yeah. Yes! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Just by a second. Oh. Checkpoints and then the finish line. Okay. We did it. First go. See, the goals just take a slow enough horse that just very controlled, has a lot of pulling power. So you're not just constantly jolting your horse with gallops. Be my record. It's like you and the horse was one and the same. Me and Moga do best. What can I say? Mm. Here's three pony points. Nice. That's good. Oh. Also beat the record. An extra three. You just get six right away for that. I can't even see it. Thanks, but no. Wow. It's six pony. It costs at least 20 rupees to get a pony point, so. That's like 120 rupees for just 20 in a minigame. Yay. That was good. I love these stables so much. I think we've seen at least more than half of them by now. Hey. Assuming there's no new ones. Ah. Lots of quests. Ah. 20 points. Register an additional horse. There we go. 23 points, you get a knight saddle and the knight's bridle. Oh. Appropriately so in this region, which is where you get the stuff normally. <laughs> but knight horse. Ah. You get extra oh, extravagant. The chicken horse. We like that stuff. What was it anyways? Uh, let's talk to you. Pirate strike at pristine ocean resort. Wolf pirates and ocean resort at Lurelin. Has been plundered following a formidable pirate attack. Uh. Hmm. Pirates might attack an ocean resort. Sadly. Uh. Empty frame caught your eye? Yeah, this one's empty. It used to have like something on it, like come back later. Oh. Decided the stable owner should display pictures on our walls for the enjoyment of our guests. Start hanging up frames. Centerpiece of the stable. Gotta put a perfect painting in it. Oh! Uh. A giant white horse, yeah. Okay, so it's all like a picture quest and you can decorate the stables. With what? The picture you take, I guess? <sighs> yeah. Oh my god, that's cool! I wonder why that just unlocked all of a sudden. I wonder what the prerequisite was. It's also cooking. Yeah, crepes we could make. Uh. How are we doing on wheat? Probably not a lot. <laughs> or nothing at all. I can't wait to get that wheat. Maybe soon we should go back to uh, the area and get some wheat uh, to Bantha. Because we didn't really explore Rito Town after saving it. 
which we can start to do. Okay, um, let's make it nighttime again so we can do that firefly quest. We can stay on a nice bed, get another pony point. Night Owl, uh, Melania Bed. Yeah, Miss Cult Message, we can get another one. I am Melania, God of Horses. Higher Witch, a top. Oh, I was gonna go there like very early on, but I didn't. But it's the top there, I was gonna just go there in general. Many excellent steeds roam wild and free. Okay. That's cool. So good horses are there. And there was another road too. I took a picture of it. I like how they actually tell you where the good horse spawns are now in this game. Because in Breath of the Wild, there's very odd locations. It was like by the giant horse and then... uh, Was it Lindor's Brow? It was kind of in that area. It was... uh. Wait, let me think. Was it next to Serene Stable? It was like by where like the foothill race was, just a little north of that. So, <laughs> Mount Rome, just north of that. Okay. Yeah. Kind of want to see that horse. Uh, I'm going to talk to Penn. See what he wants. There's so much to do at these. It's really cool. Yeah. I will talk to Penn in a moment. I will use the restroom really quick because I have to use the restroom. Uh, it's been very fun doing this, so I'm excited to do this and then the dungeon. Which, yeah. This first because I just really want to get some upgrades and stuff, but it'll all be very, very worth it. So, I'll be back. Um, that's yeah, all saved. Listen to the awesome horse music. So, and if for stream watcher, uh, <laughs> see, no one's nearby. We will have Oogie once again, the onion. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Give me like two, two and a half minutes. And uh, yeah, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Hello. Thank you, Oogie. <laughs> Oogie the onion's always just, yeah, being food. We love food. So, uh, <laughs> okay, we can do pen stuff. I will plug in my audio. Yeah, this has been very fun so far. 
We took yesterday off. Uh, so we kind of held back from daily streams a bit because I think the first eight days in a row we were playing this daily. They took a break on Saturday and then also on yesterday. So we'll still go mostly every day, just not every single day like we started with. Um, but today we'll do one. Uh, tomorrow we might start a little bit earlier and may not be as long because I have plans during the night. But uh, <laughs> yeah, we can just keep going. And it's always a jam, so. Thank you guys for being here, and I know it's going to be a lot more people too with the VODs at a later point, so hello to you too. Life people, VOD people, all people, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this first playthrough is everything I wanted though. Like, it's just really just like such a expansion and remix from all things Breath of the Wild. And with how much I love that game, I love this. Cows! Yeah! <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Just slightly better. Okay. And we have the goats, right? We do. And we haven't been in this area, so... Of course, no cows. We'll talk okay, after this pen. <laughs> oh, simple. Is that a mighty thistle? Again, the distractions are everywhere, but this is my first Mighty Thistle, and we kind of need that. <laughs> there we go. It's like the whole snake of that. Yay. Sharp thorns, and for the fruit it bears. Medicinal plant. Oh, there's literally steps to this one. I didn't know it was going to be that easy. you. It's right on track, right? Yes. <laughs> Go Korok. I'm surprised we haven't found thistles yet. But it's good to, uh, you know, just increase attack buff stuff. Because it's low tier food, but one thistle and three medium things like bananas or carp gets you a level three attack buff. You can't just do four bananas, but you're technically wasting that one then. Because thistles in the regions that they are in are more common. Yeah. And that's basically everything from our cooking stats video. Uh, which recently I noticed that our stats videos, uh, specifically the shield stats one's been doing really good. Because of uh, just, <laughs> you know, how a lot of the stats carry over from Breath of the Wild. So a lot of people are going back into Zelda because of tears. Uh, yeah, more info. Anyways, pen first, as I promised. Princess's voice. Oh. Okay, well, all the way out here. Hmm. A voice that sounds like Zelda. Her chirps and warbles. Uh, <laughs> something is fishy. Hmm. The stranger voice is crowing from Fural Plain to the northwest. Okay, we weren't there. That was kind of like south of the tower, or where the tower was. Leave the rooms. Leave the rooms. Hmm. Hmm. Felt like a curse just blowing through on the wind. Ah. Something spooky's happening. Hmm. All the travelers who heard that eerie voice have gotten spooked by it. They've been throwing the weapons down the well and then running away as fast as they can. Okay, so there's a well over there. There's some sort of monster. I, I gotcha. Voice belonging to Zelda? She's not usually so haunting. I mean, it's keep. Mm. It's constantly teased that the Zelda that we keep seeing isn't the real Zelda, and they're kind of causing just little calamities around the world, but disguised as Zelda. The calamities are just troubles. Uh, so maybe this one takes form of an enemy? But it's telling us where some weapons are to fight that enemy. Oh. Should investigate the story together. Okay. Um, horse God first, then well. 
There's a lot of this one. I just love how stables are big, just like like quest destinations. A lot of people to talk to, help, get a lot of cool rumors. They're much more interesting to check on this game. So, we elevated the stables. Chirpy noises are interesting. That's where the horse god was. Let's take a high in ascent from that. Eventually. Do see a Korok thingy? Yep. <laughs> are free seeds. Yep, <laughs> just takes a bit. For whatever reasons. Yeah. Yeah, ha, ha. Ooh. We get probably a slot of each type now with 44. Okay, so it's around here. I don't know if it was right at where the horse god was. Oh, wait, I see it. I don't. <laughs> I just saw the first glimpse of the horse. I'm like, that's a special one. Aha. Uh -huh. Seek the horse god. He does not. <laughs> a quick study of his face gives him away. <laughs> He's got the giant white stallion on his mind. Yeah, oh, of course. Horse god moved. For a good while about a horse god, one that lives here. But as soon as people start catching on, uh, he, they probably moved. You can bring horses back from the dead. Yeah. What about ancient horses? Huh. I'm going to suspend my disbelief in horse gods for the sake of ancient research, so my search goes on. There's a complication. So he has gone moved that he was here but vanished. Yeah. It's said to be by the Eastern Akala stable. From the first time I spoke in the Melania bed. It's looking more and more likely that the god is not here. Hmm. But yeah, see the giant white stallion first sets. I guess taking its place. <laughs> Where a god leaves, a godly like horse now resides. Giants, it's white, it's a stallion. <laughs> Is it a behemoth, even? <laughs> we did want to take on some behemoths today, so... <laughs> this could be a different type of that. Mm. Stallion is very strong. Won't be tamed. We can tame it. They're paramount. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, well we can we can try to get it. Let's see, uh maybe ascending up, dropping into it. I'm sure it's right there. Oh, it's the big white horse this time. Yep. That is indeed a big white horse. Pretty good. Foggy. <laughs> So what are those butterflies? Are those winter wing? It is. I didn't get a winter wing yet. Oh, that would have been a good picture. That's. As long as I can get it to some extent. Okay. We can still do better though. I wonder how. Just so we're getting a nice picture. Of summer and winter. Winter, spring. Summer and fall. This is so cool though. 
Okay. Um, stealth buff for sure. Oh, we did get that one stealth buff from the shrine nearby. This is probably why. In a very similar area. So I can't doubt it. Please, please, please. It's a much better fixture. I like when they rest on things, but... Please, that's gotta be it. That's the picture. It just gives more clarity to the wing. Yeah, sorry. I love my nice pictures. What can I say? And this is such a nice location. Goodbye, horse god. There's a bit of mysticism to it. What if we fully get around? Oh my god, he has his leg stretched. Yeah. <laughs> I like the leg stretch too much. In case we need butterflies, it's a perfect place to go. Okay, not too in. Too in? You're, you're cancelled for now, I'm sorry. Winter Wing! Picture before the take. <laughs> so peaceful. Thank you, stealth buff. Okay, about 30 presses it took. <laughs> and I, yes, I do count. <laughs> Thank you, Stealth. <laughs> He's tame now. With level 2 buff, we can run and get these guys usually. Sorry, I just love these frogs so much. Aww. They're just so many nice animals. It's beautifully peaceful. Yay. With my skull mask. I promise it's just for the buff. I know it looks scary, but it helps me catch them. I love the video game rules of uh, just wearing armor for the effect. Yeah, we have some nice butterflies now. It was very worth it. Too. This is a cool horse. There we go. Yeah, it's like the big horse, but slightly different. What do you guys think of this? <laughs> was I dreaming? <laughs> kind of. There's no mistaking it. Horse is so intimidating. <laughs> I feel so small. Hordes fail me. What a discovery. Hmm. Yeah, remarkable. Not the horse god, though. Hmm. It's such a cool horse. Yeah, it's literally like just divine. Oh, where the towels come from? Oh. Oh. I know what I'm doing with you. Get on top! Big horse on big stone. Kind of. Wait, that's a rare one. We didn't see you yet. Too. You can never get both arms in the picture. 
if you like it or not. It just never works that way. <laughs> Woo! No, it definitely doesn't work when it's that far back. Yeah. <laughs> I always get the one arm pictures for them. Can you recall? Oh, you can recall the arms, that's right. I have an idea. Let's see if it works this time. No. <laughs> we did it one time where we hit the thing first, then he threw it, and then it landed back at the gem part. But that's very hard to do. I'm not quite expecting to repeat that. You know, yeah, this needs to be used up. <laughs> We have temporary hearts, I don't want to lose them. Oh, <laughs> I guess that worked. <laughs> Just startled him a bit, so. Two, three, four, five. Okay, you do that. That's almost dead. You grab another one, I will take here. That's fine if we use that. We've had it for a long time. And it's a might as well. <laughs> Two, three, four. <laughs> That's nice. Flip. This is now the rare thing, yes. I didn't see this one yet. Could this be better than the elementals? Definitely better than luminous. Uh let's see. I had Okay, a boulder hammer. Okay, so the Igneto Talisar is 27. I think Luminous was a little before that. Um, here. I want something that's extra durable, so. 14 damage weapon. Rare Talisar. Oh! 33 compared to 27. Nice! <laughs> yeah, so definitely better than Luminous. And I had to pick the gold one with the gold weapon. Because look at that. <laughs> Rusty gold. And, uh... <laughs> Rocky gold. Nice. Well, that's a crusher. <laughs> the flurry rush will be awesome. Okay, I'm all set. Now, what are you? My favorites. Still want to make some interesting stuff with tomatoes. I need to find some recipes. I still don't find potatoes yet. I'm really hoping this game has potatoes. If I can make french fries, that'll be awesome. I'm sorry. Oh my, what, what the? No way. <laughs> That's a painful one. Interesting. Um Cookies? What? What are you? Also, since, since when did activating stuff do dur durability? Or maybe slam downs do durability, but not normal activations. Okay, yeah, maybe don't do slam downs then. It's like a... Wait a second, I have a feeling what this is. What if we... Yep, it's a stabilizer. Okay, I like those platforms. I had a feeling that's what that was. Well, stabilizers in terms of... Stabilizes in the air itself. Interesting. Speaking, if we do one there and then one right on top, 
it shouldn't shift a dime. Oh, it just stays active. Okay. You can do that all separate units. That's cool. Don't attach it. Yeah, that shouldn't move an inch if these work the way I'm hoping they will. Neat. <laughs> okay, I thought I was gonna have to build like a hugging kind of weight around it, the base. Cool. I wonder what that will do on a shield. Okay. Shock resistance. Sleepover ticket. <laughs> For the stash. Gotcha. What's oh, a hover stone? I don't know what that does, like, in this sort of situation. We hover. Interesting. It doesn't deactivate! Okay, there we go. You have to be far from that one. Well, this is definitely a king's horse. We have our Lord Fries. I'm so sorry, Moga. It's okay. You're still the MVP. Talk to you, Paddock. Talk. Yes. Oh, this is literally the horse of a king. Oh, your horse. That must be it. Haha. <laughs> the giant white stallion. Oh, nice. <laughs> Where do you have the rewards? Okay. King? For his rarity. King Rogu. <laughs> there we go. Rogu has something to do with rare, gold, I don't know. It just, it, it fits it. It's just the glamorous title of king. Ah. The hefty steed that King Rogu is. <laughs> Thank you, Moga. And that's it. <laughs> ah. Includes ah. the registration process. Hmm? We can't, <laughs> no other saddles or bridles. Oh, but with this one, it looks extra awesome. The little side straps, the face plate. King Rogu. <laughs> Sky to the northeast. Very cool. Lightning. <laughs> we heard about that a thousand times. Man. King Rogu. I love these horses so much. And what are you? A take horse. Yep. So, original horses from first playthrough, 2017. Moga, our excellent tow horse. Lord Fries, a quick and speedy French fry. And King Rogu, <laughs> the king of the behemoths. <laughs> Royal behemoths. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, I like this. Well, in terms of all their things to do, they're still, uh, I still have to do the, or finish the fairy thing. I'm aware of that. Um, There's also the well. Until the rain lets up, let's do the well. Whoop. It's just Highland Stable Well. What's that? Ah. Goodbye, hammer. Well, that's just a good, good little bet. Let's be... F yeah. <laughs> just blowing it up. 
should be here though. Mining. Oh, an actual. Well, this one's a lot bigger than the other stable wells. There's an enemy too. A lot of enemies. Interesting. Um. I thought I have good mining stuff. I, I will need that. Maybe Picot will have that. God. Let's see. <laughs> Demolisher. Fire weapon! Go, go! No, we missed. Did he burn up from that? He dead. Yeah, did not expect enemies down here. Mine's eye shield, yes! <laughs> We broke our last one earlier on accident. We really didn't want to break it, so. No hitting. Mm -hmm. Danger. Oh. I see. Oh. He's got shock from all the parts on the ground. Thank you, shock like. For that shocking display. Oh, sturdy one stick. That makes a better hammer. Ah. There's quite a few enemies in here. How about you suck up that? Wait, can you hit the... Oh, no, it doesn't do shock damage to the ground. Hmm. <laughs> we could try that out. See how fast we can punish them. Pretty decently. We need two combos for sure. Which we can do. <laughs> we'll manage. No attack up even. Go, uh, go. <laughs> I don't want to lose my temporary hearts. I'm very proud of them. Yeah, I missed my window there. Totally fine. Oh, wait. Temporarily. It's a durability one. Wait, durability and attack up though. That's fine. <laughs> Ready for this? <laughs> Bomb stick. Yeah, we're getting explosive today. Oh! Oh! I, I expected a bit more of a hammering display, but it's neat. Also, yeah, I don't know if anything counters electricity. Hmm. It's not the way I hoped, at least. I'm still burning. Let him burn. I didn't say he could be done. There we go. That gets him up right away. And that makes it very inconvenient. Extremely. <laughs> okay, I guess you're going for the next one. Activate. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> I don't know how that worked. Oh. I don't know how that half worked. <laughs> that was a half work. <laughs> Alright, no more half measures. Only full ones. Go. Jump, 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 jump. Get out and then smack. Woohoo! <laughs> Yay, full measures. Thank you. Yep. Swords. Oh, emblazoned shields! Or is it emblazoned shields? I couldn't tell ya. Not even in life or death. We'll say emblazoned though. I get so excited over that just to what? Drop it? I don't know. <laughs> okay. If we can't figure out a use for this, we're dropping it. I genuinely can't find a use for a hover. It does chew up my battery. <laughs> okay. Well, we do need to drop it anyways because that mine's eye shield, which is... Nowhere to be found. Was there not a chest with a mind's eye shield? 
Wait, did, we, did I get that? Huh. Was. Wait, but I wanted that shield. <laughs> did the chest despawn? Huh. No, I'm, I'm not looking somewhere obvious. I, I really wanted that shield, actually. It's very good for shield surfing. Huh. That's a little disappointing. Yeah. Maybe just count it as normal monster loot, because those chests always spawn after the kills. Unless it was over here and I just didn't pay attention. I don't think I would have blown up. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. No. Right, wait a second. What if we do? We'll create a torch. Yeah, what if we do this? Oh, I thought it would have, like, made a torch, you know? It was worth a, a try, I guess. Oh. Next is a rock weapon we would like. Wait, I think I see a rock. It can at least give me a rock after that failure. One. Cool well. You just expect something very small in wells. <gasps> Big hearty truffle. Yeah. What do we recall it? We need that picture, you know? What if we did that? Oh my god, highlighted pictures of everything. Oh, just more so funny. Here. Put it back for the picture. <laughs> Shh. It's okay. Most great pictures you see are fabricated. Shh. It's important. To me, at least. <laughs> you, could, you could just be a little nicer, you know? That feels a bit better. Like those naturally grow on there, you know? That's just some uh, truffle. This table has so much stuff to do. It's really awesome. There's a bubble frog in this cave. Wait, what? Oh, this is just a full blown cave system, but we found a well entrance. Is that it? Yeah, because bubble frogs are only in normal caves. That's actually cool. I didn't see anything like that before. This has been such a fun day, just, I don't know, going about the world. It was just our adventure to find a, a piper to, uh, you know, for the great fairy stuff. Look where that's taken us. Literally everywhere. This might be one of my favorite days playing today. Just, I don't know, I just like everything I'm really finding. I'm fighting and all that. area and the more flints we get if we get a hundred of them we can get a thousand rupees so we need that for buying more of the flame breaker sets all very worth it Definitely a much bigger cave system. Maybe it leads to the beach. It could, honestly. Another ancient blade. Okay, I keep seeing these. Oh, 
Wait, what if we put it on a... Well, by, yeah, by keep seeing it, I mean it's just my second one right now. We could put on that soldier's claymore. Hmm. Should we go back for it? I don't know. This stuff's all good. I want to use the magic rod for something. Uh, this sneak shark weapon, I just want to use up because I... Let's actually just do that because this is our awesome sneak shark weapon. This we could just use as a hammer for the time being because it technically is a hammer. Hammer slash spider. Okay. I like that. Hey. Oh what? Yeah, I think we're doing a cave system in reverse, kind of. <laughs> it's a bridge over the treacherous waters. Thank you, stealth weapon. And stealth armor. This is pretty cool. <laughs> Suspension bridge. I guess it is nighttime. Gotcha. So my theory with stealth strikes in this game is that uh, with the Sheikah weapons, it does the normal eight times damage from Breath of the Wild, but without it being Sheikah, it only does like four or five times. So it's nerfed unless you're actually using a good stealth weapon, which makes a lot more sense, and that's a change I actually really appreciate. Uh, yeah. No, it turned away for the picture. You have to. You have to turn back, you know. Like that. Perfect. It paints a slightly clearer picture. Not as clear as that, though. Yep. And I see a Nemo too. Porgies are the best for buffs. They give much better buffs than carps. Because this game has potency points, and uh, depending on how much, how many potency points of an effect your dish has, that's how potent it is. Like, either level 1, 2, or 3. Uh, harder to catch. <laughs> So for attack up, you need seven potency points in a dish of attack food to make a level three buff. But uh, things like thistles are only one. Carps and bananas are two. But corgis are three. So just two corgis and a thistle will make a level three attack buff. And same with defense, too. I don't have an easy pull up of that here, but uh, in my Stats of the Wild playlist, I have a whole like cooking stats video where you can see all the ingredients and their effects. And assuming it's, it's unchanged, which more than likely it is, uh, it'll be the same in this game. I haven't tested every individual thing, but that's likely the case. I don't see why they would have changed that. Okay, take the lizard. So yeah, we are taking, like, all this. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, all the hidden stats that are nice to know. Oh. Ooh. Um. Rock hammer's got to be breaking. Uh. Yeah, that's a really good modifier. That's still kind of good. Drop rock hammer for now. In case we think we need it. Yeah, 
I think he's stealth buff. <laughs> Yeah, with this, we can build some nice armor. Because uh, a level 3 defense buff is 24 extra armor points. Let's consider we don't have a lot. That is good. But attack up 50% more is much better, in my opinion. Because literally two porgies and a thistle is a level 3 buff. What's, what's spawning in? Uh oh. Oh! Did not expect that, but you make good pictures. Oh, that's a really good one. The luminescent glow of you guys. And that was huge. Okay. <laughs> Didn't expect that. I shake the mushroom loose. No. Jeez, this cave is so cool. It's already one of the biggest caves, and I was I was just expecting a little well. It's like, okay. Quick woman and adventure, in and out. Not. I don't think that was anything now. Just the unlimited sticky lizards we're getting. Anything in the cove though? So we'll find out. No, no more fishies. But yeah, seven mighties, eight armors. Very good. I love cave looting. And we definitely got, yeah, I was about to say, we, we got sticky lizards. You know, since we're in this cave, I know it might be ending now, but Miner's Mask is good for this. And it's just a slight bit of brightness. It leads right to the shore. That's so cool. Discovery. Como Shoreline Cave. That's so cool. From shore to well, well to shore. Love opening up all the sunlight. I like how sometimes you think of, you know, alternate ways you can enter places too. Well done. More of these because I value... Mighty more than armored, like always. Yeah, it jumps. <laughs> there we go. Tons of awesome loot. And we got the bright bolt froggy. I think the only thing I was trying to do was uh, get the picture of the horse in the wall then. King Rogu. Yeah, back to the stable for that. We can also equip that one sword, assuming we have a slot for it. For a nice hammer type weapon. Uh, yeah. Just what would I drop to make another hammer weapon? That I'm just going to use as, as a hammer for now. Totally fine. This is not bad, but eh, we have other good batters. Again, not too pressed. The picture though, right? Of course. Finally getting used to what we all have. <laughs> Queen pop. I love when you do the send and it doesn't do the animation, the transition thing. It's just the fluid down to up. Okay. So I want that and then we'll find a uh, thing to put it on. Just scare him off. Let him fall to me. One's fine. So shooting him off, you can just kind of sprint over them. Which sprinting's noisy in this game, so that's why it works. Even with the full stealth buff, uh, sprinting's still loud enough to alert nearby things. But with the max stealth buff, you can uh, even run, like, just jog like this or jump with no sound. Or no noticeable sound, rather. Currently, yeah, we just have the one part now, so. Just 
Yep, just a little sprint activates it. Oh, but it's almost too far. Okay, more weapon. Gotcha. I'm still sad that one Mind's Eye Shield chest despawned. It was a durability one too, which is like the best for that. Like, no. <laughs> but it's okay, we're going to Death Mountain anyways, and we can't really have that. Assuming the area is too hot. Which, likely so. Yeah, it acts like the end of the cave. So instead of a cave ending by, uh, you know, you ascending out of it, this cave you can end by going up the well. Or if you came in this way, you can exit through this shore and you have a shortcut there. But for me, that's not the goal yet. So. But it is cool. I like that, how it connects from a wave or a cave to well, vice versa. Empty frame, I do. Yeah. Hey. It is very giant. Uh, one second. Can I take a picture of a better one and like just something really silly? Because yeah, it just needs to have that in there, but it'll hang any picture that has them, right? I hope just him and Pen chill out here. That'll make a pretty great picture. The dudes. Yeah. For the companion, we'll keep that one. But for this, we'll give him this one. Because if it's going to hang, like, full freely like that, uh... Yeah. Delete those two. Along with those ones. Uh, put up a picture. Oh, unless you get to pick which one. Not too sure. Oh, you get to pick which one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> With pen. Such a fine horse. Would race across the wide plains. <laughs> yeah. Something a little silly or just cool. It's King Rogu and pen. <laughs> Like customizing the stable. Yeah! Wait, that's awesome! Ah. Oh, we got such a good picture, too. Ah. What a sight for sore eyes. Picture of a giant white stallion. Probably display wherever I want. Oh, you get a pony point for that. So every stable probably has one now. Ah. Maybe this feature unlocked once you got the camera rune, which may might make sense. Honey creep! Wait, wasn't that the thing I was on the wall? Yeah, we had for a reward. It's been so awesome. Stable adventure. Yeah, that's the thing on the wall. Okay. So it gives you the signature recipe for game having a, a signature painting. <laughs> yep, I love that one. That fits so nicely. Aww. Well, yay. <laughs> I'm literally so satisfied with that. Makes me so happy. Yeah, King Rogu and Pen. <laughs> Best boys, for sure. <laughs> okay. Now let's finish up the final thing and the only thing that we came here for. We wound up doing everything else first. Uh, yeah, you're the cool person. Horse. <laughs> With the fireflies, I think. Okay, so we gotta wait till nighttime. Uh, it's just. Can't race in the rain. Head west, uh, okay. We can do that though, which is okay. Can we just set up a fire in here? I don't, I don't know if that's a good idea. But I don't base my ideas off of good. I base them off convenience. So is this convenient? Hell yeah, it is. <laughs> here we go, I get free uh, night stay. 
You can't do anything about it. <laughs> Who's gonna stop me? I got the rock hammer. Ha. <laughs> okay, now we can do this quest. Piper. Piper. Uh, I think we replaced Piper with our fire. What if I break the fire? <laughs> Were you supposed to be there? I just scared you off. Um, that's a great question. And I don't think I have an answer. There might have honestly been. Oh no, Haiti. Never mind. <laughs> I thought this was Piper. I'm like, wait a second. No, it doesn't make sense. Uh, I'm so dummy. Okay, let's go to the forest, apparently, right? Serenade. Uh... Oh, I need to do... Okay. So I had that one selected, so that's why I kept leaving me to... Uh, uh... That one person, not Piper. Oh wait, no, this is the pen one. Gotcha. Okay, so I want to go there. But then the pen one's also at nighttime, which is interesting. Where are we going? Ha ah, ah, ha! Kill the monkey noises. I didn't see you over here last time. Am I supposed to be in the tree again? Oh, just here. Just talk to Pi- Oh, you gotta talk to Piper right here. Got the fireflies in place. I- I- I, I did. Wait, I did this last night, too. Oh. <laughs> Song. I love Zelda musical breaks. <laughs> Always the most magical things. Oh. Yahoo! <laughs> yeah, that was nice. <laughs> Set off all the fireflies. <laughs> that sounds so nice, actually. So the best glowing tree ever. It didn't require burning anything down. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> okay, that, that was actually really cool. I love just hearing the Piper play too, and with the band, that's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Finally happy. Bright smile in there somewhere. Good for Haiti. It's gonna take more than that to keep her smiling. Okay. Go back to the stable trotters. Make everyone happy. Just like you did now. More fun, more amazing. Because the crowds love my music, and Haiti will too. Thanks a lot. <laughs> hmm. Help me with all sorts of stuff, you can have this. Oh, another one, <laughs> yay. Our second raft or the first. Oh. Maybe they won in the wall to get the other one. <laughs> Music is going to make you grin from ear to ear. Okay. So yeah, we'll go back to the snowfield stable, and that should unlock Great Fairy 2 for the upgrades. So you can upgrade everything to 2, along with the few new sets that we got since. Just a couple. <sighs> okay. Um... You know, a company pen at night. We did everything at the stable. I don't think I've did everything at a stable at once like that. We might as well do the last thing, you know? Because the stable, it might honestly be the most in the game, honestly. But I would love to finish up Pen's Quest. Because I'm just having so much fun at the stable. Like, the dungeon and everything has been such a back thought while I do this. Because I just, like, this has been a great time. I never thought I'd have so much fun at a stable in this game. But here we are. A pretty great night. It's around the time of the eerie voice has been heard. The floral plane to the northwest. Okay. Why is she doing it? <laughs> Let's go, partner. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, let me catch a ride. <laughs> hey, partner. 
Yeah, if it's just there. King Rogo. <laughs> it's a royal job. Mm. No, not a hammer. Flurry rushable. What are you hearing? Freaky. What sort of spear could it be? Can't flop out of here. <laughs> no, do you have? I'm following it. If you do, you. Yep. Leave the arms, leave the arms, for if you do not, will be harm? What the hell? <laughs> of course, <laughs> the echoing. Seek the storm, fear it not, you will stay warm. Nothing left to fight. You need something from you? I guess it's a private singing place. But they're freaking out everyone doing it. Huh? Leave the arms? Oh, that's why the soldiers were dropping weapons in there and people. Because, like, leave the arms. <laughs> they're scared that they would be cursed if they didn't throw the weapons down there. Seek the storm. That's what I was singing. Huh? You also heard, for if not, I'll do you harm. <laughs> Leave the arms or I'll kill you? <laughs> what kind of nonsensical song is that? Fear it not, you will stay warm. Of course. That's a lot less syllables than those words. <laughs> a song about a cute little fox who's proud of their warm fur coat. And they chase storms since they don't get cold. That's cool. <laughs> I don't think it's entirely my fault people misheard things. I just like how my voice sounds here. Prettier. More refined. It's got the good, uh, you know, rock acoustics. <sighs> yeah. Dire threats. Leave the arms. I guess that explains why weapons kept getting thrown in here. <laughs> Every morning. There is definitely a lot of weapons. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> right on that part. <laughs> this is their own collection. <sighs> oh. So I guess I could take them. That's actually kind of cool. Bye. Pen, come down. Don't take me out of the well. I want to get the weapons. Or at least see him, you know? Aww. Zelda's not down there. Of course, of all things. Yeah, just practicing. And it's echoed. Acoustics are strange. <laughs> That same distortion made the lyrics she was singing sound more like threats to everyone who heard her. <laughs> the mystery solved. One, since one heck of a story coming my way. Thanks for your help. I mean, she has found five stories already. There's like at least a dozen stables right in the game. Yeah, I love how there's this whole quest line with uh, the reporter in the newspaper. We've shown some promise. Do we get a... Uh, Oh, wait, we're both giving raises. Yeah. Silver rupee. Hell yeah. I needed more money. <laughs> oh. Not just 20. So, and sometimes a 50. Yeah, princess not casting wells from a spell. <laughs> okay, that's like everything at the stable. And that was awesome. We found a new well out of it. Seek the storm. Six are nice. Yeah. The giant boomerang, I don't think we... No. We've seen it before, but before I had the camera, I believe. Or oh, wait. You mean the thing we've had in our inventory the entire time? <laughs> we could just get a new flame boomerang, honestly. Because I feel like it's low now. I have no way of confirming. 
But I don't need two big boomerangs. We're gonna change the element too. Shock emitter. Hmm. I don't know. That's a good. That's a good point. So that's just a soldier spear. Okay. Oh, blow the Zolfos horn. It's on the sword itself this time. I, I really want to find more blue Lizolfos, but I found like one, I think. It's okay. I'm happy that they kept this boomerang in the game. I don't think the all the tiers of little boomerangs are. I know the bases at least. But with the fusing, that makes sense. Uh, damn, such a cool one. But we can replace this with a... Uh, an ice tail or a shock one. I feel like I want to have boomerangs of all three elements. Uh, so a flame one is cool, but I know both these are kind of low. Yeah, doing a quick frost is better. This is funny for like a heavy fire, so. I know you're low. We're gonna let you rest in this cave. You deserve it. Like we've had this for so long that I don't even want to have it end by breaking. Just like, you know, you deserve that. <laughs> okay, what do we got? 11. There's a rock smasher. A lot of smashy stuff. Uh, so we'll have to use that up. We can fuse with that, or we can go like a... Uh, hmm. Do type. I wonder what's better, flamethrower or just a fire tail itself. Because that, that'll end my range. But the flamethrower just fought if I want to burn a large area itself. And just not doing direct damage. Something about the flamethrower is really cool. Beam could also be it too. Beam boomerang. Let's put a beam on a small boomerang when we get it next. Uh, or should we just keep both? This is actually a yeah a tricky little call. What element can we do on the magic rod? We have uh, water. Does it actually work with water? Because we know this is shock. Wait, what are the elements? Uh, Okay, no. Okay. Because I know it's for crafting a Breath of the Wild. So I'm figuring out my weapons now. And if it doesn't work, we can just throw this out and use the other boomerang. Okay. Wait! It's actually water powered! No way! Water rod! That's so cool! <gasps> we can actually make a water rod in this game. I wonder what else you can do with the magic rods. Or maybe just those four. <laughs> I don't feel like it'll be as good as ice, but if you can freeze a whole pack, or drench a whole pack, and then use lightning stuff, that'll create a bunch of shock orbs for a lot of damage. That's so cool, yes. <gasps> okay. Or put out fires. Wait, putting out fires! If you, if you make an invention... Yeah, if you make an invention and actually get set on fire, you can use this to put it out. I am keeping that. That is going to be awesome. I see so much use with that. Okay. I am very, very glad. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Um, next thing. I don't really want that. You know what? We have to let them both rock for now. Because, yeah. <laughs> as much as I just want to send it down here, I'd, I'd, I'd feel sad about leaving down that weapon. I feel like that one would want to break, you know? In a blaze of glory. So. Okay. Well, now with all that, uh, <laughs> let's go to the stable and get the fairy. And then we can do Death Mountain. <laughs> yes. But yeah, I hope you guys are having fun, though. This is really awesome. Um, man, a whole adventure just to get this fairy. But a very worth it one. Probably one of my favorite just <laughs> standalone adventures in this game. The ones that you make yourself. So, but after this, yes, we should be fully stocked with this plus the flamebreaker armor to, uh, you know, push the second divine beast, divine beast, ball, dungeon, whatever. <laughs> Not my breath of the wild rot brain at it again. My favorite type of brain. Golden horse is gone. All right, dog in the spins. Mm. 
wonder what this picture will be. Empty frame caught your eye. Maybe, uh, Lord Fries. <laughs> Picture of a giant bird with wings spread wide in the Hebrew mountains. Oh. Tell me, have you gone to the lone cedar tree? If you look northwest, see the form of a giant bird. Oh yeah, that's where the shrine was. Oh, so you gotta take a picture of that. Mm. That's so cool, it's another quest we can do, because with the camera. Yeah. It's not actually a giant bird, it's just a cliffside. Oh. What is this? Interested in the sketches, so many rumors, little things to do. Mm. Decorating the stable. Yeah. Uh, Can devour solid rock. What is this? Oh. Where's the stables in the south? I didn't. We were at a south stable, but I didn't hear much. Oh, well, so cool. Um, let's go. Oh, wait, was it the Hebrew one or? Wait, that confuses me. Oh, maybe it wasn't the Hebrew. Maybe it was the uh, outskirts one. Okay. I forgot why I put that there. Something building. Oops. The one I forgot. Okay, so I guess outskirts. My bad. Well, now we know a picture thing in case we do that first. Also, is that a big camp? I didn't see that one right there. Hmm. 43 shrines. One more shrine, we get the stamina. Rubies, we could still do a lot better on, but we're working there. Also, that shrine's right next to the apple field in Satori Mountain. Assuming we're not still there. That's where the apple orchard was. <laughs> we'll have to go there. <laughs> and the mushroom... I don't know. Satori will be fun, I'm sure of it. Probably still very good for looting. <gasps> yeah! Piper! Hey. Traveler from before. Yeah, the stars are back together. Nice, tidy stage to play on. Thanks to you and your broom. You forget about cleaning. Mm -hmm. There are five of them before. Uh, they were in Southeast Hyrule, traveling from Kakariko to Dueling Peak Stable. You heard a drum beat. Okay, that's probably the next one. So you gotta do them in the order. I wonder. But this is the most important one, because the level two is the best. Mastro. Flawless Piper has made his triumphant return. You know, smitten Piper really was. <laughs> Not I. Affairs of the heart are something I've yet to experience firsthand. <laughs> yep. A nihilist, except for music. Return of Piper's delightful flute has revitalized the stable trotters. Yay. <laughs> They're like kicking to the beat. At least Piper is. <laughs> Piper is so cool. So good. Great fairy. Okay. Oh, the sweet noises of his flute. Oh no. No horses can get past it. We gotta build something crazier. Oh, the cart! You gotta build a car! Oh, so there's a puzzle and literally getting to the phone. These stuff, yeah, just this whole thing is so cool. So you gotta find a musician, find a way to take it to the fountain. Uh, yeah. And they all involve like the little quests. Bringing the band back together Aww. and then helping them tour. <laughs> Being their ultimate roadie. Okay. Unless that's just why this whole cart thing is here. You know, it'd be cool if we just... Hmm. We could replace the wheels. Can I put a steering wheel on that? I need one regardless, so... I think I might be able to. Yes? Wait, if I can literally build up... <laughs> Oh my god, this would be amazing. 
Oh, use the seats as a little. Sorry. I'm scaring everyone but Piper. Still dancing and playing. Everyone's like, ah. Oh. It's amazing. Go, Piper, go. Okay, can't bring it too far, though, because I always get sent back. Oh, that was a wheel. Uh, of course there was a... Uh, it's fine. Let's find more parts. Oh, I got that. Kinda. <laughs> oh yeah, just uh, <laughs> turned all the way there. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be so much fun. I'll connect them right at the last second. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the monster music truck. <laughs> oh, yep. Hello. See that? Can't abandon it. Get in. I'll handle it. <laughs> Everyone get on board before I change my mind. We already helped you before. Don't worry. We're in this to the end of the line, Mastro. And violin. Oh. And Piper! <laughs> yeah. I do hate trouble. Let's take it from the top. Oh, that's how you go back. Wait. I thought they were going to play a concert for me. Get in. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. I do hate trouble. <laughs> uh, kind of put us funny on that, didn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, Violin. Violin's always getting scared. Piper's just like, kick, kick. <laughs> ah, no! <laughs> I promise this is modern technology at its finest here. <laughs> Come on, go play the song. Go! <laughs> Rubber rider. Rubble. Oh! Oh my god! I'm sorry, I, I did pretty decent. Just let me push through. I can drive this thing. I don't have my license yet, but I can drive. It's okay. I don't think there's a proper driving school. We just have to school the roads. We'll loan him. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Yeah. We could be assed up the mountain. Nope, I'm making this work. This is how we're doing it. I don't care, guys. Strap in. We get there when I say we get there. Yeah! Over the rubble. No road closures get me down. I just fall straight through them. <laughs> they are in terror. We got this. Don't flip over now. Yeah! Pull right up to the doorstep. <laughs> We're here! <laughs> Performance of a lifetime. I'm ready. Yes. Cause is already great and there's only two of them. <laughs> there's still a drummer and someone else. What? It's already giving me chills. It's only a half band. We did it! Thank Mastro. Uh -oh. Awesome. <laughs> I can see everything we can upgrade. To level two. 
<laughs> okay, he's Mario when he does that. <laughs> His excitement makes him the king of the plumbers. Shiny. Yeah, yo. Yeah, yo. <laughs> yeah, you deserve this. Oh, we get a little money too. <laughs> It's okay, it was his own reward, truly. <laughs> yeah. Well, next time at the uh, Dueling Peak Stable, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go. And we'll do that in due time. I'm not too cons or as concerned about the third and fourth one. Because the second one's how you get all the set bonuses. Uh -huh. In accordance to Breath of the Wild and what I heard from someone in this game. Okay. Perhaps your reward should be me. Wait. <laughs> I brought the musical troupe to you. Don't be shy. I can tell it's you, even while I was hiding. Basically. Perhaps your reward should be me joining you as a co-adventurer. Literally fighting with the great fairy. <laughs> no, but you're... Oh. <laughs> mm. Everyone flirts with Link. Yay, Zelda. Okay. Uh. A fair amount. Yeah, we can do that. Mm. It does cost money now, but... Uh, 50 rupees per part for level 2? <laughs> no, my bank account. <laughs> it's okay, we're doing literally everything, because... Yeah. I want to see if there's a set bonus on the Hylian, too. Mm. Uh. We need to find a way to get rich in this game. <laughs> and quick. <laughs> there we go. You feel the care into it? Yes. Some sets of clothing, yeah. If they added a set bonus to this one, that'll be cool. Uh, but it is like the base one, so. Mm, Low expectations, mm. of course. Boop. <laughs> I like that, though. Little star animation. Uh, uh, I can't wait to go to the dye shop. Really get some good fits. <laughs> there we go. And also eventually a champion's tunic will be cool. Mm. Uh. Whenever that comes in. Oh no, Saflinas, yeah. And yeah, we don't have, even have enough Moblin Guts. Jeez. Mm. Okay, well things to work up to. Because at first, we were able to do all the upgrades. Uh, we have parts for everything. So in a way, it'll be cool to actually not have that so we can gauge what we need. There we go. Hands away. Um. <laughs> okay, we can skip all that. You still can't upgrade multiple pieces at once. You need to get select multiple ones, and then during this part, it shows you them like one after the other. Mm. It's really uh. hoping they would, but it's okay. Anyways, yeah, electric stuff for the climbing gear. We only have one anyway, so. Uh, mm. Bunch of lizards. Mm. We're maxing out all these armors though, so. See, it's good that we're getting materials. I... <laughs> ah, I like them strong. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I don't agree to this. Uh, Moblin horns. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that, that's it. That's pretty basic. Uh. We can see what the level two is then. Okay. Let's get the animations. Literally the same for every one. Mm. Uh. Um, they are fireproof lizards. I think the level three is the butterflies then. Mm. Mm. Yeah. First one is blow a kiss. Second one's that one. I don't know. It's different depending on your tier, I think. Uh, uh, mm. Mm. <laughs> uh, break them. Yeah, we can actually use a bunch now. In mm. the break caps. Uh. There we go. Uh. We get whacked by everything. Mm. There we go. Just like, mm, I put my heart into it. Do you feel the carry put into it? Just like... <laughs> uh, the dialogue's like... Okay. 
Also, nice. The Winnowing Butterflies can actually be put to use. Uh, sadly, we only fought them at that one pond. But I'm glad we at least went there today. So we can do it. I definitely use the pants a bit more. Low armor, but it looks cool. It gives that frost attack up. Which also gives, like, frost things every, like, final hit you do. Like a frost Hi. effect. Uh, it's away. Mm. Uh, yeah, we're almost out of things. Mm. Aerocuda stuff, which makes uh. sense. And key swings. So aerial stuff for the aerial set. Which I guess is more challenges, which is how you get the full glide suit. <laughs> Turn into a bird, maybe. Uh, mm. I like them strong. <laughs> uh. Okay. Uh, sticky lizards, that only makes mm. sense. Mm. It's like the main reason why I've been getting the lizards. It's like, that's probably what the froggy stuff is for. I just can't wait to see the set buffs, cause, uh, or set bonuses. Because mm. if anyone's don't have it, it's definitely the Hylian and Soldiers, just like Breath of the Wild. Unless some were added, but who knows. Okay, Sticky Lizards and Horrible and Horns. Mm. Uh. Horrible and Horns make sense, because, uh, yeah, they're a cave enemy, and Sticky Lizards are caves, and Froggy, I don't know, like, the whole cave thing. So... Uh. Mm. Okay. Thistles. Mm -hmm. Definitely had some. Maybe bananas for the next. Or carp. Uh, uh. Mm. Oh, Lionel stuff already for level two. Jeez. And razor shrooms? Yeah, we only found one Lionel so far. Yeah, I guess our final upgrade. Uh, Cold tunic. Mm -hmm. uh. Okay. It's still pretty good. My little sister Mija. Hebra. Okay. Gotcha. Well, I did want to check out which is which things we needed. Because. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, so some are just. Yeah. Sadly, you can't with that. Um. So we need Moblin Guts. Uh. Warm Saflina. Which we find in warmer areas, which we haven't been to a lot, which makes sense. Um, this we have enough reason to buy the rest of the armor. Volt fruits, okay. Yeah, that's more mostly desert. I think I might have gotten one from a crate somewhere. Uh, so honestly, desert can give us the volt fruits and the warm saflina for like that stuff. Uh, Lionel stuff we'll just have to find probably when we do more depths exploration. Winter wing, I guess just in the snow. We can't enhance that stuff. That's ah, <laughs> damn. Oh, 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 but okay. So when we do desert stuff, we'll get more. But now we have uh, yeah, a lot more stuff upgraded. I'm gonna check if there's a set bonus on the Hylian. Maybe not, but mm. no. Okay. Sadly, they didn't add anything for that. At least visible. <laughs> okay. This is good. Yeah, a lot of armor points if we choose to. 31. And then, yeah, we'll get stuff gradually. And then when we get more armor, as we can see, you know, what we need. Because there should be a rare armor somewhere. Uh, they mentioned in this area there should be a cave with some rare armor. I didn't find it though, but there is a cherry blossom tree that points out cave locations. So I feel like we can go there first, mark all caves, do the caves as we climb the mountain, and then do the dungeon. So I think we're finally here. <laughs> A beetle pack for beetle. Indeed. Okay. Mm. Rock hammer. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I think we're pretty much set. Just a matter of doing it now. I was like thinking about everything. I'm like, yeah, we should be fine. So again, why did I pin this well? There was something here. I think it just might have been building materials. And those like cool ones. Oh, <laughs> good job, Link. Wizard. Sorry, it's like the one I forgot. Uh, I guess just mining stuff. 
Oh, fairies. Okay. I forgot this is my fairy spot. That's where we fought this. Oh, yeah, this froggy. He spawned back. Okay, so star is fairy. This is gonna be our fairy fountain. I'm glad we checked because I genuinely forgot. So. Yay. No more deaths today, hopefully. And the last one. And we're off! <laughs> Yay! Lumen Stone Zoom got uh Yeah, again, I didn't get the armor that I well I upgraded that, which just will be nice to have. But now that drain all our money, we're at 67. I need like 2,000 rupees, and even if we sell our gems, they don't sell for a lot in this game anymore. I guess if I sold all four diamonds, it could be a lot. But it's like, I don't know, do I need them? Maybe. <laughs> That's the conundrum we're in. So, rather, I will go... Mm. Or we could sell the diamonds. Regardless, let's go here, because, you know, we need to be in the Goron area for the dungeon, so. This is too much fun. Yeah. Hope you guys are vibing, too. It's just nice <laughs> playing a whole session of this, because it's already been a while, but so much fun. Like, just like making my own adventures. Yeah. Hey, Anoba. Oh. Let's go find Zelda. Definitely. We're gonna get the flame set. See, I can do a full tally. I think one of the pieces is like 1400. And the rest, definitely a lot on top of that. What the? <laughs> I was like, wait a second. Flamebreaker link? Pardon. All the way from this. Okay, another Hylian. Uh. <laughs> Give me your helmet. How do they carry a conversation? Uh, find Simmer Stone Springs. Oh, is that just uh, hot springs? Secret hot springs. Oh. Secret hot springs. Oh. And hot spring buffs. Uh, go on hot springs. Interesting. Uh, search for Simmerstone Hot Springs. He plans to start by seeking out hot water connoisseur, connoisseurs at various hot spring locations. Oh, so maybe when you go there, you'll meet him. Capture tent. We didn't. That's a little far. Hmm. Okay. Red rocks. Simmerstone. Do you say anything new? Yeah. So maybe, yeah, when we find them, then he'll be there. That's just how you start him. <laughs> Saw that, you know, diary. Town's seen better days. Everyone's addicted to the rock. Mm. <laughs> I just want to eat the rock. No one's going to buy fireproof gear. So the mountains stop erupting. But I like this rock. Mmm, <laughs> yummy, yummy. Okay, that's 1,200, and that's 1,400. Jeez, why? Why so crazy, man? It's like, do I even buy it? I, I don't want to sell all my diamonds, because what if I need them, you know? I could just buy one piece. Hmm. We could buy the pants, because even with the helmet, it kind of... has a semi-complete look. But we'll have to sell a couple things, but not everything. Buy my stuff. Uh, Cause if we just sold two diamonds, we'll still have two. I'm sure we'll find more. <laughs> Cause this could be helpful for what's coming up, you know. I think level two is important. And then uh, just 150 more. One sapphire should be okay. I can part with that. Buzz off. Once <laughs> eat his food. Discounted. <laughs> Not by much, it seems. And then we can upgrade a great fairy really quick. Just so it's not stupid weak. Uh, 50. Even just one ruby should do the trick. 
Okay. <laughs> really quick great fairy, sure. You can just one right there. Huh? Yeah, I know. <laughs> we'll be back for real this time. I just... It needs to match, you know? Three arm points isn't a lot, but eight is better. I'll take eight. <sighs> and then one moblin gut, hopefully, at some point. <laughs> But it kind of has a complete look. If I could dye this armor gray, it could work. But also the red in the arms fits the plume, so. Yeah, at least the, the helmet's the level two part. Even if that is not. That's, uh... There we go. A bit better. Red fairy, really quick. Tulin. We gotta summon him, right? I forgot what I was doing, but I unsummoned him. Yeah, look at that. We stole all of our temporary hearts. Didn't get hit by anything. Temporary stamina. We're doing good. We're doing very good. Hello. Hi. Mm -hmm. away. Yep. First to blow. And then, yeah, special mm -hmm. bonus. So you don't have the step bonus, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. Those are it's. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then, yep. <laughs> the animations are the same for a. Uh, all the level two, all the level one. And then the final one's weird, you literally just get sucked oh. in. Oh. <laughs> like a Hebra, thank you. <laughs> Yay, fairies. <laughs> Always <laughs> the non-creepiest parts about Zelda. Uh, yeah, let's go. Grunt City. We don't need to highlight that quest. <laughs> That's not really, yeah. More so what I'm about is the, uh... Hmm. I guess, I guess this one's fine. Because our goal is to go to that tree to find where the caves are. But no, we should be good to do. Gorn area. We have level 2 flame stuff. Which is very nice. Um, good amount of armor points. Yeah. I'll take all that. And then once we do that final shrine, we'll take a stop to get the stuff too. Full stamina. Thank you. What's the fastest way there? I guess the road, but nothing much I can do there. Does the road even lead? I guess it kind of uphills like that. Yeah, so you can take a horse all the way there if you want to, or can rather. Hmm. Help. Help is good. We get torched. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Not the shield. Yay! Get him! It just keeps bouncing back. Let's get normal boomerang now. Get him! Woohoo! We love that. You're alive. You are. And your toes. <laughs> Give you this as thanks. Don't fight fates now. Because Destiny brought us together. I'll take that. Tough pumpkin. And yeah, there's a piece hidden in a cave around here of a certain treasure and armor. And I want that. That's probably like the one cave I missed. <laughs> So there's one cane we'll not find. <laughs> the roll. This is the Goron run. Are 
Are the gloom hands gonna be back? We fought some gloom hands around here before. Oh, it was right there. Yep, indeed. Go, burn him up. Gotta put this to good use. I knew that was happening soon. We're finally there. No! Well, that's why we have the next one. I can't even say no because. Oh no, all my temp. Oh, it takes away all your temporaries at once. I don't like that. Saved a good deal of time doing that. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Bomb arrows will work here. Just fine. Yep. They gotta. Splash damage. For the win. Okay. Now you guys gotta do something. It all will regen. Not opal rod. Uh, spear, 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 spear. Technically, yes. Improve flare rush. Um, what can we do here? Just to get a bit more range. Um, here, it's okay. Fuse attack power. <laughs> Ancients. I'm, I'm waiting to use that because there's only two. Um, I don't need diamond. Gliok. We have a lot of Gliok stuff. Even just the Boca Horn's pretty good, though. I'm just gonna keep using these because we have a billion. Oh, oh no! No, 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 no! Don't! Oh, it crushed all my temporaries! Oh, jeez! That's awful! It's okay, we still have our temporary stamina. We just took nothing more. Okay. <laughs> this is the Pikmin Spear. Whoa. Okay, that's a spin attack. Uh, be a little closer to activate it. Ooh, like that! Good combo! Oh, means nothing. Okay, that's all it takes. It isn't too bad. You don't really have a lot of health, but do ya? Need another bow. And the clumps. <sighs> wow. <laughs> okay, we're good by temporaries, but we got some clumps out of that. Too. Interesting. <laughs> and now we can be safe trying to find this last thing. This armor around here could mean something for heat resistance. Or like heat power. Like how there's like cold attack up, you know? So I don't know. <sighs> After this, he's in Demon King's boat. <laughs> they had to make him easier now because, uh,. You don't have the remote bombs, which is how you're supposed to fight them normally. The girl on run. Oh, not me accidentally using all my stamina. We have that, don't we? Yes, we do. Oh, there's another thing. Oh, what? There's a tower in the Typhal Ruins? Yeah, I guess it was a big investigation site. Uh, and also, yeah, Geoglyph on the side of it. It's a really big investigation site. And of course there's a clock here. If you're too far, I can't do much about it. Yeah, that's if we want to go over there. When we do go there eventually, let's take this route so we can help the core. So that's too much of a detour. Just by a tad, you know? Um, apple fit for a king. Yeah. Hi. 
Okay. Just a few caves. Oh, I didn't see. Th oh, I saw that one over there. Uh, which one am I missing here? Okay, we can take the offering back. Unless I'm missing loot inside one of the caves itself. I definitely didn't get that rare armor piece. So that one we got, there's a shrine cave right there. Um, I guess we'll find it. I think the lights stay up for like a day. How do you see me from that far? No way. <laughs> yeah. No big chicken. All good. <laughs> yeah, flints. Very valuable. Hmm. Guess we can scout. It's gotta be the one cave we didn't find, so if we pin them on our map, maybe? That could be good. Guarantee that one and smash! <laughs> right in my line of fire. <gasps> big chicken, yes. That's a fourth big chicken. Oh my god, was that 99 meats I saw? Sort by type. Yep. Base meat's not so good. Uh, but 99 of the raw prime. Okay, so there's a cave right there. Uh, which one's dead and didn't we get? See, there's two over there. I remember doing one over there, not two. We'll just pin them all to check. Um, well, we couldn't have gotten that. Yep, I see where it's leading. So, chest as in there's something there. Something got opened. So, there's a two in a line in front of me. There and there, yes. And that one we did. Right? No. Oh my god, did we miss two of them? Okay. Um, and then over there... I see one. That could be pointing to, because it's like behind it. What about that one though? Hmm. Oh, never mind. So we did that one, not that one though. So realistically, it'd be like here-ish. Okay. All caves are helpful. Let's just uh. I don't think that mobling of mobling guts. Worth a shot. No, it'll have to be like at least the blue, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, that cave. Also, some of these might have been locked off without Inova's ability, which we got pretty late into this. So that could just be it, too. Oh, whoopsies. I messed up. Aha. Wait a minute. There they are. Get them. Wait. Bloopy. Oh, yes, we got both. Wolf and Bloopy. Look at Raptor Satori's display. That's how we reward it. Let's see, we didn't do that. I think I, I just assumed we did, and that's why I didn't go in here. There we go. It was like the front. Oh, you know about HQ South Cave. Gotcha. Demon bow. <laughs> the fire got him. 
Yep, that's Mystical's treasure, isn't it? And <laughs> just a really brutal melt. That almost took down a silver? No way. It was a single combo. Just one more. Yep. A single combo plus one. Might even attack up weapon, but still. Jeez. I love being OP. This area is so cool to explore. So much lava. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess I'm glad we came here. At first, I was going to do water strats, because technically, with this opal rod. That. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. But, you know, not that yet. <laughs> Oh, you can make a water car, too. Maybe this is what you have to do. Where's the fourth wheel? Um, maybe there isn't a fourth wheel. Okay, I think I get that then. Hmm. Oh, right there. <laughs> I was gonna make a tricycle if there wasn't, but... Here I go. Go. Oh, what the? Huh? Wait, wh why are you charging right there? That was suspicious. <laughs> and not a bad way. Will you actually, like... Cannon? Yeah, wait. Oh my god, he works as a cannon! You can use him as a cannon! That is too cool. Are you kidding me? That's amazing! That is so cool! Jesus Christ, this game is the best! For all reasons. Wow! That is unbelievable. Oh. <laughs> okay, I actually need to clip that. I just excitement. <laughs> it's gonna look nothing different from what I do it the next hundred times, but still. At first, I was like, "Yeah, why is he like this?" Did it did he just like take me for a second? Or did I press something weird? I'm like, nope. He literally cans the things. I'm not sure what all things. Maybe just the car in general, or if you have some sort of spout thing. Because let's try it like this. Okay, he just goes on funnier. That's too cool. Way too cool. I think he activated the spout. Whoops. Ember Hedra. Used in ancient rituals, this item is made of heat absorbent cloth that produces flame in high temperature environments. Oh. Okay, get out. All right, sorry, uh, soldier helmet. <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted. Okay. Nope, this is awesome. Hot weather attack plus the hot weather stuff. So maybe like every region that has like the, you know, every wet weather sensitive region has like this type of armor. Because if there's this headdress, uh, I would like to think that, yeah, it would be like, well, obviously the same type, like the trousers, uh, shirt, and headdress. Because it seems to kind of hold that similar aesthetic. So I feel like there's one for hot weather attack, cold weather, and maybe even the thunder too. So <laughs> nice. Devil horns. I can do it! Oh, wait. 
Yeah, backwards. Uh, or reverse forwards. You know, if there's, this is a cave, there must be a bubble frog. It's probably somewhere like on the side here. Yep. Oh, wow. Not all my hearts being drained at once. Sneaky steak, and then, yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. That should be enough. Even more. <laughs> Certainly. Yeah. Guess I'm gonna ride the sides. Hmm. <laughs> like so many seeds. And then safely, we got this. You know, it's even safer than that. <laughs> that. <laughs> Stealthy strike? <laughs> we can check out what type of stealth strikes we can do now. With 50 damage. Oh. Assuming, you know, you get the stealth. Okay, Blue Moblin can die. Mm -hmm. oh. <gasps> Bigly. <laughs> get watered. Watered! <laughs> He got drenched. Just a, just a horn. I will have to make more of these. They're so much fun. <laughs> Speed. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't have to use the last hit. It's okay. No knockback. <laughs> And then, I guess, served its purpose. <laughs> so thank you. <ya. laughs> the spin. Nice. Uh, I'll take that for another hammer weapon, though. Okay. So it's those two caves. We'll do the far one, then the closer one. And then start running up the path. Or rather... Hell, even if we built hammers with these, durability up, we might as well just make that a hammer. Or do we have? That's an attack up. I'm just gonna keep making those, uh, Boko swords. We could do something different, but it's like, we just have so many of these, so it's like, if I do something else, it might be taking away from a certain upgrade that I need to do for my armor soon. You know what, we're at it. Let's just beef out this gloom sword. Uh, same way. 72 damage one-handed. All the Pikmin weapons. I don't mind doing a similar thing for that. Um, in Giant Boomerang, we could just make another Flame Emitter one. Because I do want to try a Shock one. And there's a Shock Emitter, but it's not as, like, flamboyant with its effect. Like how the Flamethrower is. Alternative could be a Flame Lizolfo's Tail, though. Which we only have one. We should be finding some soon. Think of that when we do. Okay. Best way to get to that one cave, maybe just a sprint. Here, let's just activate that quest or we're in the uh, in the loop fully. Yinobo you know, Guan City. Okay, we're you know when Zelda last met. I guess there's really anywhere out there. I just love exploring the caves. So it's like really worth it. Yep, not too far. Now you guys show up. <laughs> gotcha. 
more of those, we can build stuff with them. Fuse. Build, yeah. I guess stamina helps with the moving. Again, just one more shrine, and then it'll be great soon. Oh. Good thing it didn't hurt us. And this path was from Breath of the Wild. The lava would flow all through it and then down there. It's the one thing that's still left standing. But there were a lot of fire levels on the path. Though. So. Oh. Ouch. Sky Shroom, Sky Shroom. Quarter Hearts. She came here during the night. Uh oh. A little off. <laughs> it's okay, we got this. Uh <laughs> Demolisher. <laughs> Forgot, still damage sponge. Um can't really flurry rush you well. <laughs> Gloom toll. Yeah, Flurry Rush, Flurry Rush. Uh, let's just start using up things, because they really need a Fire Hammer. Not really. When has that ever helped me? <laughs> the sprinty you didn't even hear me. Uh oh. Nope. Not quite. Get him, guys. It looks cool, though. He's in damage. Next goal is to get him almost all the way. Just maximize our time. Oh, crap. I forget he's gonna turn into that. Be annoying. It's okay. Gotta let a charge stamina. Oh, and the body, don't want that. Keep going, he's almost dead. Okay. <laughs> Final shot, maybe. Get him too, Lynn. <laughs> Oh, not a Now you're dead. Bye bye. <laughs> Great. <laughs> sure. That's a royal hall. <laughs> have them all. Um, we all have modifiers because we're pretty much maxed out on that. Royal halberd is long throw. Good for a mining weapon, but. Weapon as good as that, I don't know. Durability's good, uh... Just have to see what all our modifiers are. That's attack of seven. Gotcha. We already have an attack of one sword, uh... Let's see, the spears were very low on. So I don't mind just having it for the diversity. Cause we still just have the soldier three spear that we've had like, forever. Um... Hmm. Okay, just having a nice hammer weapon could be good. Opal rod, okay. <laughs> Gloom weapon. I'm like trying to think of like everything now. That's durability. I know it still has a lot left. So this is being used up. Desperate strength is nice to have for that extra damage when we're low. You know, let's just drop that. <laughs> okay, we're literally gonna make a hammer weapon out of this. Uh, yeah, I think that's all I need. <laughs> Two durability ones can literally just be hammers. Um, one hammer, one like actually tanky kind of weapon. But that's what that is already. So, you know, no, we don't need three for royal. Uh, <laughs> see, we're figuring it out. I had, there was a one handed too, right? Where'd the one handed go? Wait, what? Don't tell me that despawned too. We had a problem with that earlier and. Unless I'm literally just being stupid, it's covered by something. Yeah, could have sworn I had a one-handed weapon. Beats me. Hmm. Maybe I'm... Silver Boko Blade. I think this will do. Yeah, only two spears, but... 
Oh, never mind. It's in my inventory. Like an idiot. I just can't compute, obviously. Um, that is an attack up nine. That's an attack up seven. We don't need all that, so I'm just going to build more hammer type stuff. That's a durability. Sorry, I'm like really just kind of, uh, what do I do? Yeah, we have good stuff for just pure attack. That's a pure attack weapon. That's kind of special. That's a good uh, stealth strike weapon. That's a whatever weapon. Utility. Uh, and then just the crusher types. So, yeah. We can roll with that. Oh, I'll fuse a rock to that just to do some stuff. Actually, no. You know what? I made up my final mind because I'm sorry for being indecisive. You know what that is? Have a fun weapon that's just kind of different. Maybe good elemental properties. Take the royal sword. Because I don't want all these ro royal claymores. We already have two. <laughs> we could do an ancient blade just to really see it and have something fun. I'm like, I can't be lame about it, you know? Ancient blade. 67. I gotta see what this does. Like, I, I, I have to see, you know? It's literally the ancient thing from Breath of the Wild. Like, how cool is that? Okay, check out the cave. Sorry, I really had to think about that one because it's been a while since I just wanted to assess my options. So you find a rock. We'll rock with this. Yeah, we did not see this cave yet. I'm surprised. Oh, very easy to mess. I'm not very surprised anymore. You know, Bo? You want to help with this? I know it's going to be a rock as soon as we open it. Yes. But for now, you're my rock. <laughs> ah. La di da. <laughs> Lizard's burrow. Oh, a lizard thing. Cause <laughs> the lizard like. Oh, they're both looking at it. That makes sense. It's the median of the lizards. I was about to say like, what is with that? Lizards. I like lizards. Oh, it's a chest. That's suspicious. Not dark enough for that. Um, what the? Okay. Hmm. This is cool. Oh! It's remnants of the divine beast, the lizard. A helm worn by a warrior who protected the Gorons in a time beyond memory. It's said to deepen the bond with the Gorons when worn by a Hylian. It's Flame Guard, too. Oh, the divine helms are in this game. It used to be an amiibo item in Breath of the Wild. Okay, so there's probably uh, similar things for like, you know, is there a bird shaped lake somewhere? I guess this is shaped like a bird. That was. Oh, yeah, a cave's right there. That's where the shrine was. Maybe it's in there. Because it's bird shaped. It's for that one quest we gotta do later, too. Huh. That could very well be it. And that's actually very interesting. So, I guess all the amiibo stuff's in this game, too. You know, finding maybe fierce dating and whatnot. Uh, maybe the classic tunics? Who knows? That might be too much, but. Fierce deity seems likely, along with the other helmets. Interesting. All the connected lore. Okay, now only one more cave, from what I'm aware of. Nice. That's why Longcrow was helpful. <laughs> when you have it, that is. In there. 
You know, you know what? You want to help with this? <laughs> Here, I, I could use a bomb or something. I could fuse a rock to my royal spear, which I might. Yeah, just temporary. Long throw is too handy in this game. Like that. And then you come back. <laughs> oh, what? Oh my god! It did another hit in the recall. I guess that makes sense. I wasn't expecting that. I was just gonna double throw. But how cool is that? Oh. Never mind me. There we go. Yay. Five. Ah. Oh, nice. One more to check out. And that would be close. Oh, Worms of Flina. We actually do need those for that, I think, upgrading the cold stuff. Ah. Don't get hit. <laughs> I think those are smother wings. Get a good picture for once. <laughs> See, it's like that's a nice picture, but hmm. There's a lot in the background. Yeah, it's fine, honestly. I'm overthinking that one. But we can take them. <laughs> There's like a really nice lava-esque background with one. I'll keep that as my main. Oh, we did get it. Same with you. Not quite. We'll leave that one be. But okay. We have a giant boomerang and we have... Hmm. Got some lizzle tails now. Yes, even just one, that's okay. Let's see how this compares, instead of a flamethrower. Go! Fire! Woohoo! Probably more damage, just by the direct hits. And no battery! Oh! Uh, yes! That was everything! Do everything! Burn them all! <laughs> well, that's fun! And the meats! We like the meats. It's real! Woo, yep, there we go. <laughs> to a crisp. I think the flamethrower might do more damage though, but this does more contact damage. The fire damage is better on the flamethrower, I believe. Oh, <laughs> incomplete flurry. Very fun though, regardless. Too much. Okay, what does this do? Oh. Yeah, I guess that does make sense, doesn't it? <laughs> Goodbye, Boss Pacoblin. <laughs> His boss status has been removed from this world. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> that's what, how the ancient arrows work, just like how they do in Breath of the Wild. I just figure if it's on a sword, is it different? Like, <laughs> no. No. Goodbye. <laughs> we could get Ferocious Horn. Yeah. Wait, yeah, we can get the horn if we ride the thing up. Because now I know we have to take things up to them. Nice. Wow, that range. <laughs> the flying. Go, Yanobo. Yeah, I do want to get that. Um, we definitely can. <laughs> Last zone, Ipo. We got to preserve that because... We found three, like, pretty early on, and then no more. And we already used up two of them. But that one's closer. Ah! Don't crush me. It might as well. What 
elevator action. Elden Sky Archipelago. Oh, these stuff responds. <laughs> Battery and big will. Thank ya. Oops, stam bulb. Yeah, onion. Oh, there's a cave around the back, too. Yeah, it makes sense. There's be back pins. Did we get the we got the cave there? Okay, so we've got check as a cave. Which makes sense. First, let's do this. A little bit of charge. Or actually, a phrenic should do the job, which is fine. Oh, okay. Almost just not fine. Or that wasn't gut check, that's skull lake. Uh oh. Ah. Yeah, horn of you. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, Dinrel's horn, just like the ferocious. So it's a fire weapon. You'll probably use it for crafting or something. Uh, crafting armors, sorry. Oh, the final one should be there. There is a path right there, but it seems like there's two ways to do it. We could take the bridge in. Lake's dried up. That was kind of like a fun ramp thing. But this is where the drill shaft cave was, and I feel like now is the time to know whether the drill shaft is in this game. Because drill shaft cave was right here. It's like we gotta take that, you know? It's like we gotta. So let's do that. I'm going to use the restroom while this loads. Uh, yeah, hope you guys are vibing. And uh, I'm very excited for this. I, I was planning today to be a big a big binge day to this game. And I have not regretted a second of it. And we've been going for a while. So, all fun. Mm. Give me like three minutes because i got to refill my water too this time. So. That's my chair pad got readjusted. <laughs> okay. Um, stream watcher will be... We'll have Oink and Piggy this time. Oh. There is Oink, and here is Piggy. So. <laughs> Just perfectly, right? Hope that. Equip a cool fit for the nice region. Right there. The Hudrus. Rock Spear, and. Yeah, give me like three ish minutes. We will be back. Um, yeah, just do the dungeon, see if the Droll Shaft exists. So. Yeah, see you in a moment. <laughs> oh, refill water.
Hey. Sorry, that took a little longer. I I ran into a bit of a situation, but situation okay. So Whoop. at least at least yeah, you had double company, so double is better. Twice as entertaining. I can never be as entertaining. There's only one of me when I'm here, so. But hi, sorry about that. Maybe it was good to stand in for a couple minutes too, because I've been sitting for approximately five hours, I think. We started at noon, and it is now five Eastern. Uh, I am in Eastern time. Which is the time I typically measure stuff when I say stuff too, because I feel like Eastern is the most like followed time in the US, so. It's just like, it's Eastern, you know? Uh, I used to live in Central though, because I'm from Wisconsin. Yeah, so I still have those quirks too. But yeah, uh, welcome everyone. The rest of the break is over. Um, <laughs> sorry for making you wait again. I ran to a bit of a uh, thing, but roll. Okay. Yay. <laughs> um, let's see. Camp? I was gonna go to that last thingy. Um, but yeah, more than likely, I just wanna go off the normal path to see if the jewel shaft is in the jewel shaft cave. Because that's just important information. And I'll actually be kind of sad if it's not. And at least hope that there's a replacement. Because, you know. <laughs> Stream number 13 is, is this where we find the drill shaft. One may never know. I know a couple friends that are also playing the game, like, alongside with me and stuff. Not like alongside me, but just, you know, also playing the game. And uh, we're kind of like loosely talking about stuff. Like we have to be very careful to like not talk about spoilers. But like they're my friends, so obviously they would be very careful around me. Uh, but it doesn't seem like, I mean, if they did find the drill shaft, they wouldn't tell me because they would want me to be surprised. But it's like, hmm. <laughs> I know people are, there's people who know if the drill shaft's in this game or not that are definitely curious to see. How I feel about that. It makes me a little nervous. Stock. Stolock Bridge. Okay. Oh, yeah, the Quark. There's like a balloon we gotta get earlier. Platforms. Blood Moon, that's okay. There's not a lot of scounds in these parts. Except for that one, which we went to, right? We did. Okay, that's probably just the normal way to get there. <laughs> we built a flying ship. Come on, guys. Mm, yeah, that's, that's fine. Outrange them. <laughs> yeah, this is literally just a hammer to me. With high durability. Well deserved. Um... Okay, Joel Shaft Cave is nearby. Oh, hot spring. There was a quest here where you get the Joel Shaft Cave quest from. Let's mark an oh, marker seven. Okay. <laughs> we'll let the hell go off in the meantime. Alright. <laughs> Blood moon. I'm semi-nervous. I have a feeling it's maybe just not in the cave either, so. There you are. The elders. <laughs> Stress of everyone addicted to the roast. Yeah, I'm turning up at this hour. I am a hot spring connoisseur. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hot water here is the best. Though it used to be Simmerstone Springs had the best water. Oh, the entrance got collapsed. It's something about to break open. The canes of... Oh, Gorko Tunnel! That's, uh... I think that's where that one shrine quest was, where you had to deliver the meat inside? I believe. Unless I'm thinking of something else and this is a new cave. The Goran and the No... Okay. To know about them. So that's what we need to find for that one quest. For the Hylian, who is a connoisseur of springs. Entrance got blocked off. Can't clear it out myself. Hot spring's a hot spring. Yeah, you can see the Death Mountain scenery. 
the gloom mountain of death. So it still holds its title, whether it's lava or gloom. Just very deathly and nice. Yippee. <laughs> Path. I'm kind of just scouting about. Make sure we got everything. Guess that cave cuts through. Okay. No. Oh. Oh, I guess that's if you want to start going like to Gorko Tunnel. I don't want to do that quite yet though. Oh yeah, you gotta land on it. It's one of these. <laughs> just in one continuous flight, otherwise it cancels. We found like one. Uh. It was in a sky island above like the Gruder area, kind of. Because we weren't like in the desert, but we hopped from like the sky island above like lower central Hyrule to the Gruder one because some stuff was interesting. And then to the labyrinth there. And then we backed out. But still very worth it because that's how we got uh, the second piece of the stealth set. So, which is obviously very helpful. Oops, right there. I don't know why I did that, but yeah. The pants. Pants and mask. Well, the. The mask was at that one, actually, so. And we've been using the mask a lot. The pants was at the snow one, and I assume the torso will be at the, uh, the Kala one, which is the biggest of the mazes. And I'm very curious about it. Also, that's a no-go. Rock man for rock lands. <laughs> Ooh. That final hit did a lot. You know, we're literally just using it for that, because we have so many of these. Ooh, and then for this... Break them! Oh wait, it's still an enemy, you can't do that. I forgot. I just see like a rock layer, so it's like, break the rock. That's what I'm trained to do. But no, it's not, it's not, it's not what you really should do. Um, you know. So what is our now good weapon that we should be using stuff up? Save that one spear because it's our last one. This will fuse with some crap. Um, I might even just make a lashing sword. You know what? Nothing too crazy or powerful. For little parts, it's just a ton of green ones, isn't it? <laughs> a ton is a big exaggeration. And then add some, and then ice stuff might be nice here. Oh. He stole a rock when I forgot. You can't? Oh, maybe it was too late. It was too late. There we go. Hit the eye. <laughs> Perfect timing. Oh, yeah. It does freeze him nice. What is that? Damage is 27. It's doable. But I like that. Love the lashing so much. I don't love that. Sorry. Drill shaft cave. I think it was above here, wasn't it? It's gotta be the shaft. Yes, that's it. Drill shaft cave? Huh, huh, wait. Wait. No! It got replaced with ores? Or maybe it became the ores. Is this what happens to drill shafts when they stay in the ground too long? It, they become ore. Well, at least the ores are diamonds, so it makes sense. Yeah, see? At least the ores are diamonds, so it makes sense. <laughs> and banana jump. <laughs> I prayed to the gods for that one. <laughs> Do not know how my luck worked out. Okay, that is acceptable. We're okay with that. But still, we need drill shaft. Otherwise, it becomes unacceptable. So you better hope. You know, but at the same time, a person in this hot springs in Breath of the Wild gave us a quest to find the drool shaft that was there. So what if, because it's a hot springs, they may lead to where drool shaft is in Gorkel Tunnel? That's an interesting theory. I'm not going to commit to it right now, though, but it's good to keep in mind, and <laughs> we definitely will. 
So. Health. Hmm. Oh wait, the Moblin! Uh, wait. Are you still a drill shaft Moblin? No. Wait, please have a drill shaft. Just like he did. No! Why am I seeing a lack of drill shafts? Okay. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> he doesn't have the drill shaft either. <laughs> Come on, back up. Uh, I find your lack of drill shaft disturbing. So you die for that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I do find your lack of drill shaft disturbing. It's really the worst. Okay. And that mine's cart seems to lead all the way around. This is the Bridge of Elden, right? Yep. Hmm. This is worrisome if I haven't seen a drill shaft already. Sign man. <laughs> Puts up all the signs that he can. This seems fun though, this minecart track. Sorry, I got so caught up in drill shop. I'm like, huh, there's a whole minecart track around this mountain. This will be interesting. He stole the bomb ones. It's like a dual one. I wonder what type of cargo will be held there. What if we just. I don't know. No, it's just gonna slide both directions. But it's a good start. Because then if we just stick that there, and then we do one around it, so it won't fall forward or anything. It can still fall towards me. Uh, let's make sure it can't. Wait, a little ramp, yeah. Kind of does the trick. Go for it. <laughs> a whole TP of a, uh, I don't know. What is this? What am I creating? <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Get him fastened. Perfecto. <laughs> Take this, red ruby. <laughs> Okay, hot weather attack. <laughs> Get some of that. Puff shroom. <laughs> the stuff from the depths. I wonder how he gets those. Oh, it's usually puff shroom or bomb flower. I don't think I got muddle buds from him. Maybe not. No. Gotcha. Fans, 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 fans. We could make a minecart shield too. With this, might as well. Because I don't think it takes durability. There we go. <laughs> Built the shield up for a reason. <laughs> but we do need like a propelling device, so. Yeah, fans would be that. So, what is this? You were interesting. Diamonds! Again, that's where the drill shops were. I found two of them. Which is nice, because we literally sold two today. The luck of mining. And look at that. 
No. That sign did get a little silly. But that's okay. Hmm. Okay. Personal mechanism. Tons of fans. Oh yeah, literally. It's a whole weapon on the cart. Okay, just so I can stop in place, kinda. Don't go too far now. Yeah, we have to get all that stuff. Uh, that's for you. <laughs> Another bridge, Korok. They love their bridges. Slots. Maybe if we save a couple more, we can just get two weapon slots. Because I think the next one's going to be 25, and it might just be 25s from there on out. I'm not too sure. Oh, it's like, what was that? Can I aim up and down? Maybe. Oh. <laughs> Ouch, you. There we go. Break it. It's so cool. <laughs> this is literally the awesomest thing. The weapon. <laughs> In a cave. West side. Ooh. Oh, wing gliders? Okay. Um, oh. Can you reach your friend? What could that be? Up the mountain, because that's where he's looking. Oh, we can easily do that. There's just so much to check out here. It's like, well, of course I'm going to keep going. You see I'm busy. <laughs> My mouth and me are kind of occupied. Chomp, chomp. Go to the summit of Death Mountain. Wait, the mine or the cart? Mine cart. Oh, that one. Okay. This is the one that takes you high and then... There's one that loops around fully. For just like mining stuff. Uh, and this one takes you up high. That checkpoint and then... Okay. Cool. Oh, this guy's actually- oh, the elders are working. Didn't he go to Death Mountain? <laughs> Blonde hair, highly in like, headed to Death Mountain. Gotcha. Lizard. Okay, we can see what's down here first. Not like that, we can't. There go. Here I go. Then you follow. Okay, Death Mountain West Tunnel. Oh, what, what the? Hey! <laughs> Get out of there! I know that was gonna happen. <laughs> that was dangerous. <laughs> Jeez. Salty. It's very hot in here. How do you tell if it's level two or level one heat? I guess just by unequipping it and see for seeing if we're okay. Yeah, well, just level one heat here. Why isn't anyone coming? Yeah, because everything's broken. <laughs> You goofs. <laughs> he really likes his roast. Uh, help was finally on the way. It's a pity, Hylian. <laughs> the track broke. Oh, I guess he can't get out. <laughs> but at least he have the meat. They're sad, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the last one. 
<laughs> Let me know we can get in the cart and send it flying. Oh, we gotta repair the track somehow. The abandoned laborer. We can find a way to do that. It's like these things that are uh, in the depths. Yeah. Oh my god. Like these are like platforms that have all the um, the zone attack things on them where you can build mechanisms. Well, I guess one was here. Because it just got uplifted. <laughs> Upheavaled. Okay, that's where I recognize that from. It's just that fancy stone structure and pillars. Some fans and rockets. Oh, and a chest. <laughs> I would have missed that. Gotcha. That's good. <laughs> I think just fusing with the rock will increase its durability by a sliver. I think that's how it works. So. Okay, double rocket might be our best bet. Send him flying out of there. So I can't really prepare the track, but more so. Just get him to safety with other means. Or maybe make a hover cart? I don't even know. I feel like I have a bit of a down tilt. But if we do it too high up, it might just fly off its tracks, you know? I just like work with the force a bit. Am I going onto the cart? Oh no, I don't want to melt. <laughs> bye bye, Goron. Ah, you better be safe. Yes! <laughs> just flew out of the cave. You got this, Moda. <laughs> it didn't even phase him. He's just so hooked on that roast. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. You're basically there. You're. <sighs> yeah, <Yay. laughs> you just need to see the. A little glimpse of sun on your back. He's happy. <laughs> Still addicted, but when a marbled rock roast is a reward. Oh. Yeah. Can't do that. What he picked up in the cave. Okay. <laughs> Another one of those. Can't get marble rock roast. Just ugly, weird vehicles. Yeah, how disappointing. That's so cruddy. That's kind of what I like, personally. <laughs> There's a thing over there. I like things. Woo! Yeah. Oh, was only attack. <laughs> Didn't expect that one. Guess there was just a lot that was upheavaled here. And it leads you back. Oh yeah, that's the one that lit, lit up. Gotcha. Minecarts and marble rock rolls. Can't stop them, won't stop them. <laughs> no need to. I 
Okay, there was that Korok. I might as well do that because I have the minecart right now. So, keep swiveling around. So many options for the breakage. This is a durability combo crusher. Probably the best you can get. Also, big wheels. Oh, don't interfere, please. Oh, this goes wherever the forward point was. <laughs> a back cannon's cooler. Oh, wait, no, what the? Why did I forget to get the Korok? That's kind of the reason why I'm doing this, right? Go. Okay. <laughs> Just a little off centered. Oogie. Here I go. <laughs> Cannon. <laughs> Love having that. It's a bad add to your natural part ability. Charge. Charge. <laughs> that way just enough to stop the momentum let's go I can do that reset the momentum that way yes two seeds yay might just be two away from uh two weapon slots then both slots we have plenty of so I'm not too worried if anything it's bow shortage <laughs> wasn't there before Shortage of good bows, rather. Uh, that's well, you can actually like, go here and there's a lot of stuff that exists. That's good. It's about letting go. Oh, wait, no, no, it's not. Why would I ever let go of a nice, tasty piece of meat? That was a loser's attitude. We take the meat. <laughs> they come right back to me. Whoop. Yes! <laughs> meat slide. Fall and rise with meat. <laughs> and we can keep going along in the mountain. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> More meat. The fall. There's a pack of enemies here. I'm gonna let you do. I should stop using my arrows. We're actually. We're decreasing a lot. We're using more than we're making now. Here I go. Okay, cannonball! Let's go! No, the rock tripped it up. Sadly. I like fighting things. Just a tad bit of damage. <laughs> there we go. And some more, and get fired. Nice! Sent them right back into the flame. Uh-oh. I'm actually more worried about your cousin. Like that. <laughs> yep. As always. Catalyst. <laughs> yes! And he broke it for me! <laughs> we got the timing perfect despite the weights. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, not that time. <laughs> now you die. <laughs> Thanks, you know both. <laughs> there we go. Right on track. <laughs> Almost on track. The track's right over there. And this corpse will make it halfway. Kind of. That's it. Tentacle tail thingy. Okay, I think we have. Okay, we do. Yeah, we have all that. It is wild that we're this far. Where's my minecart? Must have went all the way down there. Are those. Golden Sparrow is nice. I like those ones. 
Give me chicken. Standing chicken on the other piece. There's no way that happened. The joints still work. Literally a whole swoopy arm like. That's so funny. Yeah, I'm saving funny chicken. Yeah. Done, done, on to the next one. I'm not even gonna use bombs here. I lied. Massively. Oh. I just wanted to make sure I get the loot, and we dead. What? How'd that? How'd that bomb still stand? No. Back to yeah. Okay, and it'll blow up during the rush, maybe. Maybe. Oh wait, what? They're okay. <laughs> Significantly delayed. The Rogu weapon. <laughs> royal. Gold Royal. <laughs> I wish I can recall that, like... Ow! <laughs> he actually made it, I didn't expect him to. My underestimation was bad. Lucky Moblin Guts, ah. Always Sky Shrooms for a quarter heart. Because they heal a quarter heart, so... Also Skull Lake, okay, Shrine and a hole in the middle. Like climbing it won't be a bad thing. Yeah. There we go. Just kind of BS it like that. Get a bit more stamina. It kind of worked. So we're a bit of impatient climbing. I can't really ascend because there's no flat enough ground to. But if nothing good, it's at least a vantage point. Call is looking nice. There's the maze. Uh, Terry Town's out of view, that's fine. The horse god should be somewhere by the stable. Oh, uh, geez, you know, but okay. Tech lab, okay. Hmm, yeah. Can't, the castle in the sky. And that too. Interesting. I wonder what that all does. Those are just interesting, at least. Kind of all the way. Red rupee. <laughs> Money's so good in this game, I, I need it all. Oh! This is a special cave. Ow! <laughs> it's a special kind of pain. <laughs> I've seen these rocks below Hyrule Castle before, and they're hard to break, but you know what makes quick work. Or not so quick work. Or better than me breaking my own stuff. <laughs> Death Mountain East Tunnel. Oh, it's probably one in all cardinals. <laughs> Get that extra flame damage in here with our uh, hot weather attack. I love this area so much. It's everywhere. You know, the volcanic caves are so cool. Because there's this minecarts running through them, and uh, <laughs> going through that's awesome. Really love how they embellish in the minecarts. Close. And just for mining stuff. I'm using my good ones, maybe I shouldn't. I can do it. Here I go. Close. Uh oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> How many of the giants do we have? 108? Wait. 
Yep, right there. 108. Again, that's for the depths mainly. <laughs> All these. Even ignite them here just doesn't do a lot. Goodbye, cool bow soon. B. <laughs> Stops them. Half of them aren't very hidden. They're just kind of there because like, oh yeah, they exist. Chilling in all of Hyrule's caves. The ultimate cave dwellers. I still wonder how that ties into uh, a Kilton's brother Colton. If, like, you know, there's a, a bubble frog in every cave, bloopies around. Uh, Lord of the Mountain uh, shows you where caves are. So it's all like connected in that sort of sense. I think bloopies are more so by caves in this game. I, I didn't fully pay attention to that, but it would make sense. Also, what is on that Talus's back? It looks like an emerald. What? That's different. No, I'm very curious for this. Whoa! Jeez. Again, we don't have flame resistance. Yeah, it's like Zonite scripture. Uh, okay, we need, yep. Yeah. That was improved Flurry Rush, but it's the best thing we got. Oh wait, damn it! Aha, why did it, why did they put a map thing there? It's Easier just to press minus. <laughs> Recall, you know? Ah, I don't have other good bows. Okay. The bows are gonna only use it when we need to. Oh. A little late. Oh, wait, no, we weren't late. Damn it. <laughs> um. Apple, apple, apple. You have to get him, Tulin. It does not get rid of the ice the way we want it to. No! Jeez. But I think just cooling it straight up. Yeah, that's probably the best way, honestly. Then we go with our spins. Thank you. Yeah, and then just instantly again. <laughs> it's like not fair. Dude's a tank. We just keep freezing him. Yeah, we need that heat resistant armor. Bad. It's not like a stasis him, you know? Keep him down for longer. It just, we're rushing it. I don't care. Go, don't reignite. Don't reignite. Yes. <laughs> Bye bye. Oh, that's a key of some sort, isn't it? Examine. Oh, it's a shrine thing. I gotcha. Okay. Oh, right. I think I see one of these. The shrine quest. We just found that part first. So cool. Mind this stuff first. Guess we'll steal another lizard. Good thing your guys don't set off the you know, stealth radars of whatever you're trying to stealth on. Oh, nice. More diamonds. That's the third one we already got today, just in this area. That's a lot of money. Diamonds are the only gems that really give you a lot now. So I'll take every single one gladly. 
Um, do we really need the fire one? Not really. Fireheart is kind of. I mean, I just dropped my one with the fireheart. I guess if I need the damage. I just don't know if it's choose up more durability, but yeah, it's a pride thing. Let's do it. Do something with that. The key. I wonder where the shrine thing was, I just did not see it. Here I go. Lift off. Was it wasn't like right there? Well, actually a little bit away. It's more likely he found this first. Okay. Wait for it to get in. Maybe not, because it won't stick, won't it? So stick it first. Oh, wait, no, it, it doesn't have to stick it, but... Or maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes when you don't get things to stick, it's very awkward, like a Korok. It just doesn't quite work the way you want it to. Oh, wait, you can recall these guys. That's probably where you're supposed to do it now. I was like, there's got to be like a more intended situ solution because he can't suck on things. He can still spit out and that's... Okay, that makes more sense. We've recalled so many rocks, but I didn't think to recall those rocks. Which is so handy. Send the problems back at him, always. It's like, you know what comes back to us. Right? He's like, oh wait, too close. There we go. That stops it too. If you just shake it loose. And then, oh! The pebble? Oh, I thought I could. Okay, you can try it. I warned you. I mean, I really didn't, but it's funny you're saying it that way. Balloons. What are you doing for that? Octorok eyeball? Uh. I want to see how those differ from the other ones, like the Aracuda and the Keys. We well, yeah, got good balloons now. We can attach them to arrows to catch things from afar, which is nice. Take it. It's healthy. Mm. Tasty. It's <laughs> standing up. It's like speaking to us. Light that banishes evil. I love that. It's literally just a small form of a shrine. Crystallized magic. It's such a cool animation, too. <laughs> ah, then it activates. Either I don't remember the first one or I accidentally skipped it. Because it was like, oh, just a shrine opening cutscene. Wait a second. <laughs> I didn't see that. We saw those. There's, yeah, little ruins on the foot of the stable, or stable, hill, whatever. A blessing. This means we have enough to get the, uh, the final stamina pieces then. And then Koroks, too. Big batteries are nice. I don't know if I'll ever be able to find those at dispensers. Maybe very late game. Because I just don't know, so... <laughs> It's funny, this is like very close to my normal stream time. Because with Breath of the Wild, we always go live at 6 Eastern on Wednesdays. Because like with our playthrough, we do it once a week. Because obviously, I wouldn't play Breath of the Wild every single day. Because, you know, just with how many years I put into it. Uh, 
But yeah, we did once a week on Wednesdays. It was very fun. And then challenge run stuff on the weekend on Twitch. But for this playthrough, it was just like, I'm just, you know, keep going off. Because why not? So, new game. Just having as much fun with it as possible. And it's been the experience. The experience. Oh, that's a track switcher up there. Um, oh, in case you want to end right there. Hmm. You know, I might just go down there really quick, see what that is, then warp back to lookout landing to see if we can do any upgrades. They said 50 Korok seeds for two weapon upgrades, maybe, but I don't feel like that's likely. I feel like the next one's going to be more expensive. Wait, what was this area called? Okay. Ruins. Shadow Hamlet Ruins? Am I thinking of something else? Couldn't tell ya. <laughs> Drop the enemy. I think it's something I most used. I use it very often. You have to break him. When do you guys finish him off? He's not worth the time. <laughs> yep, that's not my number four. <laughs> Better. What the? Guys! There we go. You know those. Kick an ass. <laughs> oh, wait. I guess let me do this camp and then we'll dip out of here. The goal is in a whole Kala adventure right now. But damn, this look cool. Fire! Nice. You know, that's problematic. That's okay. Proof flare rush. Beat him down. Still too early. It's okay. Uh, but still good in other aspects. A little fire swivel. If I want to do another element, I can. Like, where's my lashing? There's my lasher. <laughs> this is better on a, a soldier's weapon, because that's a quick spin attack. It's good for elemental distributing. <laughs> this is nice. Loop. Goodbye, arrows. Oh, wow, the body's still rolling. <laughs> yep. No way I'm getting that. <laughs> well, you can rewind from all the way there, though. Oh, what? Wrong way. Uh, that. Sadly, falling up ice with fire doesn't do more damage. Get him, guys. Oh! Actually, maybe not, because then you're going to smack him off the edge. Damn it! You know, Bo. Oh, he's all the way around. Yeah. Sometimes it pays not to have uh, companions. <laughs> Evil Yenobo's back. <laughs> Taking over the world again. <laughs> the food empire of Rock Rose. Yeah. Okay. Those ruins really quick and then go back to look at landing. They're having that final full wheel will look a lot cleaner. Should be able to climb that. Never mind. Oh, not all that, I bet. Ooh. This is a nice find. Banana jump. Yeah! Two of them and two rubies. You don't see rare deposits of that caliber, really, in this game. I'm definitely sure they changed the drop tables to be slightly stingier, which is fine. There's still a lot of gems you get. 
overall. Oh, <laughs> barely. Thanks, Gust. I hate when there's a dragonfly, but I can't get it because one of the decorative ones. Oh, yeah, there really is nothing here, is there? There's not even a name in this place. What I thought there was. Some ruins just will always be ruins until nature forever takes over. Wait a second. Oh. Yay. Oh! Jeez. You're freaking me. I'm just trying to open this loot. Okay. So they're in pretty rare locations like that. No, we know what to do. <laughs> One arrow, an ancient thing. Yeah, we only found three of them and they were all today. Didn't even know they existed before that. That's just really cool. I think we have some violets, but we do. Also, wait, my favorite thing is when you hit them. <laughs> they form like a little tie around them. You see how it goes from like a like normal flower bunch to like... Uh, it just like bundled right away with the twine. As soon as you hit it, it's like, how'd the twine get there? It's funny. Haha. -ha. I don't see any more caves. Because you can... I really can't see that one. Just barely sticking out. There probably is, but... My first goal is maybe just taking the thing off really quick. Seeing that dungeon will be awesome. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> just maxing stamina and... Uh, at least the weapon slot. <laughs> at least. Hmm. We have 132 Koroks. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, 44 shrines. Of course, the weather is icky. What the? No! What happened to the pond? What fell? Why did things keep happening? Uh, uh. Wait, it's the ancient text. Yeah, I can't read it. It's one of those platforms. Yeah, Wordsworth. Yeah. Have a look at this. Stone tablet. Oh, can we start to decipher them? Huh, if we can translate them. There was that one researcher guy in Kakariko, but... Yeah. Notes are back at the research lab in Kakariko Village. Be heading there to check. Okay. So maybe that's how we can start doing it. Again, I wonder if it's like triggering these events to happen. Because last time we were here, we didn't do anything big in the main story since, but. Obviously, something happened for this thing to fall. Mm. Come to Cockrico Village, share what I've translated. Okay. Ah. It's a bridge connecting us to a distant past. Unravel the mysteries. Okay. Huh. Messages from an ancient era. Ah. I am interested. Ancient Hyrulean. Guy okay, named Wartsworth. He went to Kakariko. Hmm. Ah. Okay. Yeah, nothing. Wait, but wasn't there a guy called... I thought Taro could also do that, too. Expert in Zonai... Oh! Okay, Taro's an expert in reading Zonai writing. But the Warsworth guy is an expert in ancient Hyrulean? Interesting. I thought they were all the same language. So maybe we can't learn ancient Zonai, but we can learn the Hyrulean? Because so many of the archipelagos have, like, a structure like that. It's like the star-shaped one. It's like, uh... Let's see. Nope, not depths. What do the islands look like? They're like little stars. Hmm. There's a very specific shape of the island. Maybe there wasn't one here? Oh wait, no, because I didn't know what that was. Okay, right there. Um, there's one above the Elden Sky, I think here, yep. And there's like many of them. So you have to read each one. Interesting. Horses. <laughs> Seems like a fast horse. You know, it just responds to everything. Yes. All right. <laughs> Very expensive weapon stash. Yay. 
Yes. <laughs> Squad dance. We love that. Getting that fourth roll will be so helpful. I need all of my utility weapons and variety. 35. Okay. Side of feeling that. What about shield? Shield's just 10. I'm not worried about bow. But shield could be nice. Yeah. We're not in desperate need of it, but 10's pretty cheap. Please dance. <laughs> Broccoli dance. With babies. Also not there being a green, blue, and red Korok for power, wisdom, courage. I think shield just stays at 10 for a while. It does. Okay. Uh, we just have that one actual one. Like, you never know when you need a smidge more. Um... Gotcha. Anything cool here? Stay away from buying arrows because the rupees are better spelled elsewhere. Rice, I know we can get a bunch, so I'm like not too worried. We have an extra weapon slot and a shield slot, which will maybe come in handy. Uh, weapon was important though. Anything new in this journal? No. No, just baseline things. Jaren, hi. I think, um, bought a great statue. Good morning, good night, see you later. I'm home. Oh. It's more than touch base with the goddess. <laughs> sure thing. More so for our own personal benefit, though. Also, I love this Zone headdress. Yeah, it has, like, the Zone symbol in the back. I didn't fully notice that. So it's kind of just chugging away. I was like, ooh, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, the armor is like edited. You can't see his one hand. It just is on a hand. There we go. Stamina. Gotcha. Okay. Beings overflows with vigor. No need to increase your stamina. Okay. Not just hearts from here on out. Look at that. We're gonna have max stamina before even the second dungeon. We love that. I can really climb anywhere, sprint anywhere. Always good to max it off first. Scorpus. Okay. Now I say we go back. I'm gonna save really quick. Now just go up the mountain. There's probably some other cool stuff on the sides and camps, but they'll still be there afterwards, so I don't mind. <laughs> A lot of caves in this area. Definitely the most dense. Yeah, there's some stuff here, but like nothing like this. And we didn't even explore like stuff like here yet. And wherever that path was. Assuming it's still there. Yeah. Okay, now let's go, uh, I guess there's the one in back. Mm. Oh yeah, right here. There was like a slight thing that I wanted to take up that I didn't get to last time. We kind of half did it a pre previous time. Anyways, I'm, again, I'm going to stand up for a minute or two, use the restroom, uh, because this is definitely the stretch that's going to actually take us up the mountain for the dungeon. So I will be back with that. Um, yeah, just give me a couple minutes and... Yeah, definitely the dungeon. Really soon. Um, we will once again have Oogie watch the stream. So, I'll be right back. Oogie the Onion. There we go. Uh, let's get this. With our minecarts, for sure. Alright, give me like two, two and a half minutes. So, bye-bye. <laughs>
back again. A couple more than more than a couple minutes, but yeah. Cool. Thank you, Oogie. <laughs> Hi. Sorry. Uh, the longer my stream goes, the longer breaks I take, which I guess is okay. But, uh, because it is now six hours into the day, but I feel great for keeping on going and doing this dungeon. So, I need to plug in my thingy. Again, it's a process because I got my capture card set up. And, yeah, it's literally a workaround because my monitor obviously doesn't have a output so yes and I use the headphones because you know more immersive than the speaker I usually use when I just do breath of the wild stuff but yeah uh, <laughs> well I think we're ready let's take the alternate way in because well, I just wanted to see what the main way what was with the bridge of Elden but this was honestly a lot more fun and it takes you more to where you actually have to go Yep, there's a fallen plank. Wow. Like that. So we <laughs> recall. Oh wait, no, no, what are you doing? Ah, ah, no! Why would you do that? Why is there another one? Okay, I guess we're colliding. No, no. Ah, ah. Okay, as long as there's not a third. There isn't. <laughs> How generous. <sighs> okay. Safe. Why is there another? No, get out, get out. Ah, shoot it off. Destroy any other planks, please. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. So I see a glider right there. <laughs> no, everything's just flying. Is it because we broke the rock, so it just didn't have anything to stand on? We got close. Possibly. So I wonder why this is what's given. Because there's that there, and there's a steering wheel right there. With, another, with a rock. There's a reason why it's giving you all this stuff. <laughs> Wait, there's... Oh my... God, there's a lot here. It's like, how do you want to go about this? I'm like, well, the minecart seems pretty fun, but <laughs> you're giving me a lot of choice. How about minecart first? See where that takes us, because I don't know, taking a minecart of something seems pretty fun. Like, come on, it's minecart, you know? First, we can break the rocks around. Right, buddy? Parts sure are useful. I agree. Sure. I'll say it's gonna be more tech, isn't it? What? What was the point in that? Was there a weapon that blew away? Uh, nothing close, at least. Uh, seems like nothing. I couldn't tell ya. <laughs> okay, maybe we'll just random overthinking. Okay. I feel no other obligation for anything else. It's just build cool minecarts. And we shall. Here I go. Goro Goro. Slam! <laughs> We have to get better at that. Do it a little bit earlier. That's a chest guy. Of course he'll put a chest guy, so I have to get off my cart. Kind of. There we go. I was about to say. <laughs> can't not work after that. <laughs> Hit him off, yes. Perfect. Here. You do that. I'll get this. And the chest. <laughs> Did he fall asleep? Yep. <laughs> it's his back seat. <laughs> That's really funny. Okay. You know what's this funny? This. 
Oh. Wasn't as funny as I thought it was gonna be. Yep. Oh. There. Well, if you want to use those bombs for anything crafty, the craftiness has escaped him. Okay. <laughs> it's up to me. A real explosive go getter. Yep, I am certain that it went all the way back. Wait, we can get it from there. Also, don't tell me I can, please, go back, minecart, or just in time. Okay, uh, go, 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 go. No, what? We had the right idea, it was a little too fast. Who's it still now? Yeah! <laughs> Got the lock. No. Oh. Let's rock. <laughs> Blast off. So satisfying. You can. <laughs> you can. Need stuff around. We can check out these areas soon. Oh. <laughs> Blast baths. In the back one, yes! I can do it. Yeah, we can literally weaponize us. Oh, that's amazing! We right blast his rock? You can take his rock off? Oh, jeez! That's, that's enough of a punishment for him. This is so awesome, what the? Oh. Well, that wasn't as good. You know, we'll get back here. No time for bouncy. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, that works. <laughs> kind of. Now we go. Bye-bye. <laughs> you. Moblin archer towers now. I didn't really think that through. It's like, yeah, that wasn't a thing before. <laughs> What's up? No, 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 no. Whoa. I would like to snake their loot, though. It's very yummy. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Improved. It's fresh and clean. And very mean. Okay. <laughs> Finish them off this way. Oh, just one. The aerial. Keep going. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> And then like that. Close enough. <laughs> okay, we got a uh, attack up 10. That can be our new crusher one. Which we already... <laughs> we have a bunch of these hammers. It's like... Uh, too many. We'll keep it until we need to build it. That won't add a lot, personally. We're gonna keep doing that. So hitting zone attack doesn't chew up durability, but if you do a slam down on it, it does. Because the shockwave does. Here I go. <laughs> or, you know, rock roast. I like how they're still everywhere. Wait a second. Why have I never tried fusing a rock roast to something? I did not try that yet. Marbled rock roast hammer. Yeah, it makes a hammer. I didn't try that. I forgot I could. Maybe a shield next. I don't know if it's actually gonna do something, but I'm glad that I did try it. Gotta try everything, you know. Toasty and dirt. Yep, literally a rock roast hammer. Let's go. More bats. Go! Let's go again. Quick, 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 quick. Ah, uh, you know, Bo. I mean, maybe our fault that we missed. <laughs> Not anymore. Go. Then he go again. Yes. <laughs> Destroy them all. I love the bad parts come to you. Or it's like any part that falls too far. There we go. 
and ow. Still pretty good though. Here I go. I a lot of parts this way. Yes! I love that! Goro. Flame damage to dead on hits. It's the most incredible cannon we could have ever asked for. And that too! Yeah! Here this I is go. incredible! I love this! Oh, and we're at the shrine. Sure. Right below. Wow. Could make some anti gloom food. Reminders for Hylian workers? Yes, gloom is bad. Get away from it. <laughs> that was so much fun. I did not expect that. Wow. So that's what this boarding segment's like. Sit some. It's like the Rita one was going across all, like, the. Just the, the Sky Islands archipelago there. And using the wind thing to get further distance. And they're like Gleox and whatnot. So that was a cool boarding segment. This is like, yeah, literally cannon carting. That is just so much fun. Like, everything here is just a joy. Okay, more shrines because we never know what we need. A controlling device. So it's teaching us more about the carts. These are backup cars, I see. I took the backup first. Uh... Perfect. Okay. Yep. I love how they are literally lava safe. <laughs> so this game always has me geeking. It's just like always something new and it's... <laughs> I can ride a car in lava and I was just literally riding a minecart and blowing up dudes. Like, it's amazing. They really made the game of all time. <laughs> so for curiosity, is this good or bad? bad. I had a feeling, but I can't always just trust my feelings. <laughs> These cars are so much fun. Oh, no. Unstuck. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Love the drop. Jump shot. Drop. <laughs> Mine. Sorry, I just have to get one. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Been missing those for a bit, actually. Just decent mid range bows in general, so we're not using up that or that. Meantime, weak stuff. <laughs> that. <laughs> Unboomerang, boomerang. If we water you, put off the water. Yeah, see, you're, you're fine now. <laughs> if only that's how it worked. Flashing. Oh, wait. Did I set that off? I don't believe so. I'm sorry. Wait. I can fix you. There's cars and. Hmm. Let's see, we did the chest here, so it's just a matter of making it to the exit. We can do this. We'll make it. The landing strip. Come on, I've flown these before. I'm an expert. Let's have the expert status pay off, please. Yep, don't clip my wings. There we go. Coming in for a landing. Okay, park this plane perfectly. And then a little steeper, and then... Woo! Right up to the terminal. Thank you. And blast off! <laughs> Got it. Pilot's license? What for? Yo. <laughs> gotcha. Light. I love just making a little runway. Put like baby wheels in the bottom. Or I guess technically there's that those carts you can put under your thing. It'll add a bit of weight, but if you want a little, you know, plane thing. Only thing that sucks is that bird gliders don't last infinite. 
I want to check what the time is on that. It's like, feels like after like a minute or two of gliding, it starts blinking at most. I don't know if there's a way to extend that. Yeah, that is going to be so awesome. Oh, wait. Is that the linear one? Yeah, I think so. Okay. That's just the best view we got of it. Oh. Hmm. The crater already. I'm still stoked for this. It's that way? Okay. Great Scott Allen. We went on those rails. That was cool. It's like a lot of things hardened up here. I was expecting more of a gloomy pet. Hmm, not quite what I expected. It's all hard. Hmm. Did we talk to you first? <laughs> kind of jumped the gun. I, I did, didn't I? Sorry. I think it was near here. When I came up the mountain, I saw her. The princess was standing right here, Goro. And then she gave me this fancy mask to wear around. After that, um... Oh, jeez. It's no use. I can't remember <laughs> anything that happened after that. Turned a little evil. <laughs> Little bit of into a emperor. Uh oh. There she is, Princess! Princess Zelda! We need to talk to you! It's dangerous! Oh, then it caves in. Oh, so triggers a cave in there. What? Pardon? Holy! Cr Is that a three-headed dragon? Rising from death mountain crater, Moragia? Didn't expect it to erupt into a boss, <laughs> out of all things. Is it marble rock? Yeah, it's the rock row stuff. <sighs> we have to find a way to bust those heads open. Quite literally. To find some sort of cannon? What? Oh boy, it's real. Moragia. Big. An enormous monster dwelling in Death Mountain. Its body is composed of boiling lava and hard rocks that are infused with gloom. The creature draws heat and gloom power from the crater. Interesting, the boss before the dungeon? <laughs> oh boy, it's really big. We gotta fly. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god! The cart! With the plane! We were just talking about that! Like three minutes ago. Like, what if I put a cart on there for a landing strip? It wouldn't need to think about that. <laughs> it knew. Okay. No way we're literally doing this. Yep, we gotta shatter him. Okay, a little bit more that way. Just dodge whatever he's gonna throw at us, which is I don't know. Yep, it's okay. 
We're making our rounds, trust me. I know it's good for this. Ah, uh, what the hell? Oh, wait, almost wrecked it. There we go. Yes. Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, just keep spinning. We'll, we'll be okay. No, 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 no. Go. Oh, my ship. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? That's not what I wanted, though. My ship is gone. Oh, wait. We actually found the ship. There's no way we found the ship. Oops. What the? That is a stroke of luck. And that is a stroke of bad luck. Let me get it out of here. Very quickly. Unbearable heat. I know. Is that just for my... Oh my god, how hot is this? Ah, no, you have to get back. Okay. It's a moment of rest that we need. And then you get up. There we go, like that. And then we fly the other way. Like that, and then recall it. Like that. Then we control. Get out of here. Stop the recall. Yes. No. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> we'll make this work. We'll make it work. We're almost out. Uh. It's okay. Like that. Uh. Jump out. Okay. Good. And then have it like that. Like that for enough time. If yeah, that's gotta work. Oh. Recall it. That's what you gotta do. Let's do its thing. As soon. Yep. And then go like that. Stop nose diving into nothing. I don't want to get the mechanism stuck like that. Wait, no. And then we can... Yep. Like that. Stop! No. <laughs> At least it's not attacking us. I'm doing a pretty bad job at being a boss right now. Like that. Stop it. Let's go! Get out of here! Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> the batteries are running low already. Stop, stop, get out. There's so many fans keeping it down and the weight is, I don't know, I'm gonna make excuses till I die. <laughs> like that's, that's okay, that has to work. I don't know what's gonna happen if I doesn't. Uh. We're seriously out of fairy tonic. <laughs> that. Yes! We got it! Okay. We're gonna go all the way to the edge. Not cool. Okay, Moragia. <laughs> we got this. The source of the rock roast. Defeat! A little too far. We know, we know. We know. Head on collision. Yes, go! <laughs> when you know about pound. Okay. Evil Zelda's creation. Can't stop this at all. But I know that's just the tail beginning of it. That'd be the head beginning. The <laughs> cave done. Of course it would. What was that thing? <laughs> Zelda walked off somewhere around here. Huh? It's plushy font. <laughs> they still think. It's Zelda. Yeah. We're coming. Well, okay. <laughs> this is the gloom pit. Dungeon 2? In the depths? 
It seems like. Well, I'm ready for it. That's all we can do. Go in. Oh. Discovery. Death Mountain Chasm. Uh-oh. And it got hot. Whoa. Oh wait, that that wasn't even the end of it. Oh crap. It's the whole s center of the volcano with light roots around. Wow. This is unexpected. I, mean, I knew lava, but just <laughs> the scope of this. Lava temple in the volcano. <gasps> that is so cool. Must this light root. I thought it was just going to be like a temple down there. Like that a whole section of this with the temple as a part of it. I have no idea what to expect from this game anymore. It is truly great. Well, it's always been that way. But <laughs> the true keeps getting truer. And the fun keeps getting funner. So. Beam me up. <gasps> There's a Goron statue. Hmm. Okay. Is that Dru It must be the sage of the area. Goron Zonai. The Zonai were like the basis of all different races. That is something. I'll delete pictures later. <laughs> Can I take a crouch shot? Just to be like cool. Just for now. Love this flame thing. See a whole lot of the red rocks. Huh? And Zelda be here with the marbled rock roast. Gloom infested rocks. Oh. Come. Come. To me. The next sage. Huh? Oh. Think that away. Has to do with yep. Zelda. Okay. Not gonna lie, I didn't expect all this. This makes it so just expansive. The light right see the light right there. A light right there. Saw some other ones around too. Two. Right there. Right there. It's kind of a big area. I can do it. Charge. Okay, I guess break all of them. He's the only one that can do this. Yeah, it's just his unique ability. He's the only one that can counteract this sort of force. Which is interesting, because it's like... The force holding back the Gorons, or... Or brought to bring evil to them, so... Since you know it was the chosen sage, it's always just... He was the only one that could do that. But of course... He was being... Well... That was being taken advantage of by taking control of Yunobo. So... It's interesting.
Because, like, literally having <laughs> the only ally be someone that, uh, can be controlled is powerful. Is that normal? Yeah, that's the roast. Marbled rock roast. It's like you gotta build something to get around. Here I go! Charge! Having the light roast would be good. It's like I just need to think about how I'm gonna start. There's a capsule thing down here? Okay. I saw one in Kakariko before. Otherwise they've all been in the sky. Frocks. Frocks rocks my socks. Okay. Slam. Oh, the fi- Oh, that's fire property. Okay. That's cool. Just for the slam down, though. Final hit or slam down. Nope. Keeps going back. Quite the leap, too. Oh, sorry, Novo. I, I was a go-getter there. Oh, it's a vehicle thing. Sorry, this is where I gotta start using my stuff now. Okay. Yep, one of these builders were in the caves outside. Battery, hydrant, sled, wheel, controller, okay. Um, might as well hook this up to the car. And a little battery. It won't do too much, but. I like this lava cave. It's the perfect area for a upcoming lava themed dungeon. Let's see what this is. Okay. Type. Okay. I'm covering them, I know. We'll do a few sets of them. Variety, like wheel, portal, pots. Uh, what is all the potential? Oh, but just those wheels, steering sticks, pots, and batteries. So, stuff to build long lasting cars, and in case you need to make more flame resistant food if you don't have the armor. Because I would assume that it's. No, it's not too much down here. I just accidentally supercharged my battery. Oops. <laughs> um, I was trying to re equip my armor, actually. Not bad stuff. Uh, I feel like the ones I want are different ones, though, that we're kind of low on. I need stakes because I just never got a lot. Birds, rockets. Only because I like a lot of rockets. Uh, but not bad. Filling up an okay quantity. Yeah, it's gotta be close, close. Stop! Uh, hit the constant damage. The light roots over there. The plane would be good to get all the light roots right away. So we could work with that if we're just trying to get light roots right away and then do the dungeon. I feel like that's not a bad plan. Because really laying out the area will be nice. Okay, obviously not super hot in the food situation. Uh, type, let's go and eat a big meat. 
first we'll just let him break that. Because, yeah. Getting a plane will be the best way forward. Look how oddly calming it is down here. There were fans, yep. There was enough to build a plane. Besides the plane. <laughs> Korok. Oh, no, there's no Koroks down here, is there? No, that would make sense. But a sled. Yeah, everything for plane besides the wing, so I'm going to build that. And with two batteries, that should be okay. Best way, maybe. This for just one. Or one set. And that. The headlight will be great. But honestly, what's better is just having a bright bloom seed. Yeah. We put that on the back. Oh, that, that activates that. I did not expect that. That does a lot. To and I guess just a battery, too, because we have plenty. I'm not worried about that. You just won. We lost an extra 30 seconds. We gotta self launch this. <laughs> yep. Just barely enough. Okay. With the maximum amount. There's that light root. I don't know if it's the closest or what, but that is awesome. <laughs> Not. We're so far. But I really want it. Now just to worry after this is to make sure we have hmm, our plane lasts long enough. But I am going to use the zonite thing. Oops. <laughs> I have to make sure I get my things right. Yeah, as soon as that's low. There we go. Boost. That's as long as you need. <laughs> I can't see a lot besides the plane itself. But that's what the light roots are for. <laughs> Here I go. This is so high up. I guess it makes sense. It's the depths, but also we started from the top of the volcano. Yeah, this is not what I wanted. Not quite there, but I think we can ascend into it, maybe. Uh, no! I did something. Oh. Calming rest right there. Oh. Took us all that just to get over here. More force was in order if we wanted more, but... It is steaming. I can't even see past half the steam. Make it a little better. This is climbable. Pinned it. I just can't see it right now. It's something we gotta send into for sure. God. It's all steam. Oh, 
Nice. Uh, oh, I thought I pinned it right. Uh, you guys do that. I need. I need to bright this up. Okay. okay. You guys handle that. I think this is an ascend thing. It's a little too far. Please. Yes. Oh, we did it. Give me that light roots. Okay. Aha. Good. This is vastly helpful. Niff us some light roots. There's so much in the depths. There's a platform down below. Hmm. A building platform, okay. I just didn't see that because we're so far. The next light road is over there. Oh, wait. The dragon's there. <laughs> I just barely not see it. Hmm. I guess just get a few of these, line up the area a bit. There's not too much else. We're building our own things to get around now. I'm sure, a lot of the cool stuff is hidden as well. Just some pose through fire. Okay, if there's pose there, it must mean that there's... I mean, can't really always mean that there's good ground. But typically, I've noticed that it can be. Okay. Three. Can I send into it? Why not? Kind of. Just enough. Thank you, Max Stamina. Get it, Cam. <laughs> Get it, Cam Light Root. Aha! Interlocking ones are good. <laughs> and I see some stuff now, just. I never like rush to get these before, just it's too much otherwise. Sky. Hmm. Oh no, don't, don't head back. Okay. So that just leads to a lot of other. Oh wow. So you, you can really cross into a new section here. Not entirely what I was expecting. Okay, he's following. It's still good that we're doing this, because maybe it is derailing a bit. It feels important in its own way. At least maybe getting that one would be good. I think these are the two light roads we saw from the distance, because that's how it extends into the Akala area. Here, Let's shoot off a little bow and... Crack skull. What behemoth? Behemoths everywhere. I thought it's followed by much. <laughs> Dead end. I hate these. 
Oh, you're kidding me. That was such a... Bleh. Holy crap. I thought I was actually leading to something. To my climbing demise, that's all. We should be fine like this. Gloom isn't affecting us during the climb. Nicely. Oh, lied. Nice. Let's get real close to the light rope. It's okay. We got this. Yeah, we got this. <laughs> Kinda. Yeah, light rot. <laughs> so what's that above? There's a little platform on my map. I'm not sure. There's just something up there was signifying. No, there's nothing down there. Just gloom. Oh wait, <laughs> depth map, depth map. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, baby little foxes. Keep backing up. Keep backing up. Oh. You guys get him. <laughs> Me when I try to kill a spider. <laughs> Okay, we're not gonna die to this. So okay. No zonite's mine, but there's a lot of stuff in general. Okay, so maybe we should go to that temple. I'm glad we got a couple just to kind of benchmark stuff. But realistically, let's go there. We could build a little rocket plane, honestly. I think a balloon could be cool. Me, I'm all about that rocket plane currently. I think it wants us to go a little far. We have some thingies for it? Yep. Oh, wrong way. We go against the current grain. Um, a little upwards, but a little still forward. Because the fans will still help with forward, but... Yeah. And I guess both batteries, because that doesn't harm anything. <laughs> and they don't last very long, but two is at least a bit better. Pretty low. Hmm. Or we could just go to the temple like this. Because, yeah, there is obviously light roots, but. No, let's see what this takes us. Never mind. <laughs> it looks su super close, and then when you're here, it's like, never mind. It's actually kind of far. I'm glad I built that. And we can put more rockets on if we want to go straight to the temple. <laughs> Yeah, now we have a mechanism. I didn't plan that carefully enough. It's like I see something in the lava. Something's not walking in the lava, is it? It's like I think I see something walking in the lava. Which is a little scary. Kiso Mom. <laughs> Kiso Mom Light Roots. Nice. The interlock. <laughs> Yay. There's a talus there. <laughs> I 
There's just so much to do. It's like, hmm. I feel like I'm always just going to get spun into the next thing. We could just go to the dungeon and be like, yeah. <laughs> Like that. Oh, there's a dip. Crap. Oh, cause that dip. <laughs> no, no more dip. There's most definitely something walking the. Or unless that's just a statue. Oh, I think the image is getting, getting distorted. Look, okay, I thought that was like a giant lava creature. And I was like, oh. Uh oh. Here I go. Can't blame you for that one. Uh. Just eat like two. You know, our plane's expiring, but I don't want my life to expire. Bye bye. <laughs> I need adventure. <laughs> Just for a little bit more light in here. I think we made a good call. Honestly. If that machine is solar, it'll be awesome, but totally understand if it's not. <laughs> it's a good setting for us at the temple, though. It's got to set the mood a little bit. For a scary fire temple. Mustis. Oh no. I can do it. Let's do it. Oh, just the first one. Here I go. Yeah, I see a car, so we'll just take that. That would be too amazed if it kept our car that we had. Gotcha. Let me throw a, a good one on. <laughs> the headlight. Oh. No, sorry. And I might as well just take a little bit of free battery. Okay. <laughs> Natural headlights. It's free. It costs no power. We like free. Sure. What is... That's a dock. Oh, that's a building bay. But so what is that? Is that a... Oh, it's a like light down here. I didn't see those yet. Uh... We got him. <laughs> Minimal damage. Like if, he, if he really must. We'll ignore him though. He's not bothering nobody. It's just his home. I love this so much. I don't think I'll be able to break them. It feels dishonorable. Oh, you're on the back, so. Oh, wait, I can. Was I able to tilt it just now? Okay, there we go, the wheel fun. Kind of. Not what I want to do though. Okay, <laughs> hit him in the lava or wherever he wants to be. Yeah, run him over. Screw it, we got these guys. <laughs> Last back. Nice. Gun. My favorite ability. Oh, it's a zonite base that we walk into. That explains a lot more. Ow! <laughs> Alright, that'll still hurt. Wait, we got hit somehow. Oh, my battery finally. 
Okay, this, this stuff takes up like no battery at all. <laughs> okay, run him over. Yep, no respect for you, Moblin. What are those bad rocks? <laughs> how, like, how long can we keep that up? Uh oh. Not too long. Ah, the corpse parts are my thingy. <laughs> Frost, frost, frost. Not like my fifth most used. Okay, you gotta die. What? I don't know. Just stop. Oh no, the heat. Oh, thank you, because I didn't know which way I was gonna dodge. Big hammer. Good. Get hearted. Breaking. Okay. Now me turn so I can flurry rush. Oh, not quite. Ah, well thank you, but I really need the flurry rush. <laughs> For the bonus damage, or I'll have you do whatever. I'll loot. I want to make good use of your time. No! <laughs> the one time I wanted you to step in. And you failed. <laughs> Not too many other options here. Get cannoned. <laughs> that worked. Oh, he can't roll backwards. That works, though. <laughs> Thank you. Find a use for him. <laughs> Besides the one thing we bought. On this, we can do well. Like that. Oh. Take! <laughs> Yay. Lord Zonite. Don't mind me. And then... I guess we still have a reminder. That's a better one. Not the most damaging, but it adds some fire. Oh, what are, another peplet. They truly are everywhere. I gotta build an airship at some point without a bird. So it just lasts forever. Because it should. I think it's just the bird that does it. Long through Royal Broadsword. Oh, wait. You can't throw it. That's nice. Not quite. At least he goes back like right away. It doesn't work out the normal recharge. It's literally just how fast he comes back. Also, ooh. Yep. So we're breaking this. Mighty attack up. <laughs> Good. Do we ditch the vehicle for this? <laughs> It is good traction, so it just stays put. We can get all the pole looting done. I can do it. It's a little tunnel way. It. Oh, it's that big? <laughs> get that rock layer off. Most efficient way possible. That's a little too well. Tumble him. Get your rock off. Get stuck in the wheel. Yep. Fired. Oh, holy crap. It just crawled the whole thing. I think he missed. Oh, minecarts for minecart shields. Might as well. Ah, underground ones. This will be exciting. So is that new light road? It is. No idea where the guys went. Oh, there you are. Oops. Guess I just loosened my car. Wait. 
It says it's flying. Yeah. Automated car. Ah. Fire. Rock mining. Mm. Are we out of the royals? Nope. Boko Reaper. Single combo. So good. Mighty Zone had shields. Literally just an enemy had one. Oh, well, the ramp up's been really nice from the Rito area. A lot more tougher things than just some constructs and uh, like the bats. <laughs> Mining operation. <laughs> Seems like there's a much bigger mining operation there. Oh, geez. Warblins? Yeah. Broadsword, I will. Might be better than the long throw. Oh, attack up, yeah. Double damage. Hmm. I guess we could ride to that light root. It's very close. Like literally none of this is gonna expire. Uh oh, Froxes! Kill. Oh wait, what? No, we missed. <laughs> we get the light rope, we can get these hearts back. Is it a boss bacoblin guarding it? It is. Oh. Tunnel him back! Oh, oh my god, the multi hits. Okay. Miss. Miss Sissy. Miss Sissy Light Rot. Oh wow. Because that one area is just the crater, and that's it. But this? Yeah, all under the mines. That's where the dungeon was. I'd say for sure I didn't expect this. But now we get more illumination on this temple and it's massive. It's so dreary and <laughs> what is going on here? Oh, firelight. You are very fire-like. But I'll be more ice-like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Elemental counters. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> Eight. Nine. Ten. Oh, come on. <laughs> that should do it. Of all mighty stuff. It probably scaled into it too. So maybe it was like the weaker stuff, but it's gonna be like the main type of shield we're getting. Warblin monkey base. Baby monkeys. Yep. One shot killers. Yeah, you gotta be quick though. Careful. Um. Oh, bright seafood balls. Okay. A bit more glow. The big spears. Okay. 
is incomparable. I feel like I gotta start using... Hmm. Wood's bad here. Okay. One flurry should do it. Oh, oh my god! Uh, got him. Early timing, but we're nailing it. Oh crap! Actually, don't go into lava. Jump out. You know, but don't hit him in, please. No, Tortulin! I was talking to you too, buddy. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. Well, that's the good part. It's not. That's the good part. Is that one again in the gut? That could be good. You have a lot of parts, honestly. Five different parts? Or six? One enemy, six parts? A lot of cloths, 53 of them. Yeah. Rusty Halberd, Halberd. Um, well, you know. <laughs> Too much good stuff around. I, I almost don't know what to do. We have an ice weapon. Um, this can be an awesome Punisher if we put... Hmm. We need a hammer Punisher? Kind of. Maybe th that's what this can be. Just something that's good against rock type enemies. Um, which horrible and hammers are good, and we we're fighting the silvers. So with that in mind, yeah, 32. Fuse it with a, uh... There we go. It'll be a nice hammer. And for the sword, we can think of that, but... For now, let's just keep using this one. <laughs> it's an attack of nine. Other ones are back up. Lava falling over that. It's kind of crazy. More though. <laughs> More! Actually, that worked. Holy crap. <laughs> For the large zone, that's two large zone, that's worth it. Because every large zone can be transferred to like one of those large energy crystal things. Like, that's how valuable they are. <laughs> and those things are like sometimes just a quest reward in itself. We need a rusty halberd halberd. <laughs> but we could use it just to take it on this camp and then take our normal weapon. Which is something I like doing. Drop this just in case it despawns. Just for some extra... Oh. <laughs> Thank you for not being stupid. Okay, not our best combo, but still a combo nonetheless. Here we go. Oh! Jeez, that sounded like it hurt. Like a lot, actually. Oh, what the? Oh, how do you get here? Where do you guys come from? Poke, 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 poke. Using a weapon to a weapon's pretty weak. Oh, wait, oh, the fire! Oh, the fire effects from my helmet, not the, uh, not the rock roast hammer. Oh, this it also could have been there from there. Yeah, my rusty spear already broke. Those are not meant to last that long. Okay, let's use this one up there. Oh. That's cool. Love the fire attack. Ooh. <laughs> That's awesome! Punishing zone of the heat! 
and he's pushing me now. <laughs> oh man. Uh. There we go. Break. That's good. Oh, it's already. It loses the elemental property after just a little bit. It didn't take that much damage. It enhances all fire stuff. Headbutt me, something stupid. And don't tell me my weapon despawned. No, it didn't. Yay. Whoa. Oh, that was close. Thank you. Okay. Pretty good clear out. I do need to uh, stop that light root, though. Oh, there's a hot spring down there. Strong conflict, but okay. That's all good stuff. What hammer breaking means. Another opportunity for a second to. Oh, gonna lost. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> then for our next trick, <laughs> we sell the. Yep, rock hammer. With a rock on it. Of course. So what is... Yeah, it's a hot spring. Are those hydrants? They are hydrants. Hmm. Yeah, it's like some ceremonial grounds, kind of. The hydrants are just still going off. Ceremony is just a bath, honestly. Could be overthinking that one. I can do it. Hmm. The rock roast. Um. This weapon would be cool. You can use the rock roast's hammer or the hydrant's. It's a hydrant hammer. That probably Goro. drains faster because of the water. Here I go. Goro. Huh? Okay. okay. Fine, break that one first. Like he so desperately wants to. No. Goro. That. <laughs> We're making it work. Just go. Ah. <laughs> Clearly that was a mistake. I can do it. Charge. Okay. <laughs> it's like I just have to know. That temple just wow. Goro. Let's go. No. Good light rotation. I'm surprised I didn't see this from going there. I was just so distracted by the boss of a cobbler and whatnot. The whole prack. He's got a cobble crusher. I think that's where we got another one, too. Or at least one other one. Hmm. Food wise, I'm gonna use some temporary pots to cook some things. Just two. Let's go in just cheap little foods. Hope we're not full. That'll be awkward. Meats. I could go truffle. Go. 
got it. And we could go, uh, Truffle. We have a lot of them, so might as well take advantage. Good. No more blinky blinky. Wait, okay, the first thing a gloom will take us down right away, so. That's something to be cautious Let's for. Cannon. Cannon shields are fun. Durability up. Uh, don't really need the guard. I think that's more durable. It could be nice. Yeah. <laughs> Another cannon shield. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the basic Zonite shield. Basic or mighty. I didn't really test if the cannon does damage to us if we get too close. At some point, we'll have to find out, but I don't know. <laughs> I'll just keep rolling with it. Five and I'm curious on that one. Every bit of this is very interesting to check out. There, it's a little high up. Just, just you know, a tad. We could quickly get that light rope because it's right there, you know. It seems like from there we can build a bird. Well, if we're going over there, we might as well build a bird, anyways, sort of thing. Because where's the last build platform? Kind of near. Not much for bird, probably because it doesn't want you to fly into the temple. So I don't know, maybe that's stuff we just worry about a little later then. Getting a little too ahead of myself. <laughs> In the meantime, boss McCoblin. We started the stream with our first white boss McCoblin kill. And they're all rock ones. Oh geez. Uh I was about to say where was that? <laughs> Horblin Smasher. Oh, go! Yes! Oh, they're weaklings, okay. But we needed that regardless. No, not the stupid map! <laughs> uh, I don't like that one. This just takes it. Three. Four! Also, does that deal durability to it? Because... Even just activating, I think, did a little durability. Because it used to be shining, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Fire, too. Probably not a whole lot, but it's good for the splash. Maybe for taking off shields and whatnot. Da -da -da. I had to get closer. Oh. Let's see, hit him. Good. Invincible flurries. Don't want to hit him back in the other oh, wasn't lava. That's good though. <laughs> Two shot him. Three is good. So that's good. Ah, uh, <laughs> it's always like the basic knight tier. I think all the normal weapons have restores, but I've been only seeing like the travelers, knights, whatnot. So, but still, in some cases, it can be better than others. Just out of curiosity. It's a 15? Oh man. Yeah, restore travelers 15. That's, well, I mean, with the attack up, of course, but still. Um, it's like 
I don't need that though, but it's also pretty nice. It probably is more durable too. And it could be fun if we build like a, uh, you know, Lizzle tail weapon maybe for sorts. But we don't have a lot of those either. So it's like, ah, uh, rock is so much better for what we need it for. But still better than some royal stuff. So you know what? Executive decision. This will be our new rock breaker. That's almost damp destroyed, I can guarantee. Um, anything fun we can make with this? Wheel sword, rocket sword, not really. Yeah, not a lot of good weapons for that. Unless I intend to just blow stuff away, which I don't. Hmm. Sorry, I like looking at my options. A one-handed hammer could be good for facing taluses, but I don't know how much else. Well, let's do another ice weapon, because we can. Ice Traveler. And because it's not a royal, I won't feel ashamed not using the flurry. Here I go. <laughs> that's that. Okay. At this point, it would have felt semi-similar if I just got a large one. Because even those aren't that hard to find. Oh, okay. Uh, easy decision. <laughs> Wood and broken, pretty much. I just like the lashing property of this, and... I know it's ice, I just don't even have a lot of normal tails, so. When we go to Zoro's domain, I'm sure tons more Lizzles will wait. But for now, it's just been kind of rare, occasionally in the depths, you know. That minecart stuff in there. Hmm. I think the, tr the track doesn't end, does it? No. Okay, perfect for the lashing weapon. This is a huge camp. Gotcha. Get them both in. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> the lashing is so good. No knights, horrible and stuff. And that was a very quick takeout. <laughs> Gotta watch that. Okay. I'll st still take a large donate. Even if it's glorified in the chest. I really need that horn. It's like a good horn. Not you. Forget about the claws. <laughs> That takes us here. There's like bridges and stuff. Okay. Oh, it was a busted like railing. Exciting at this place. Yeah. And the front door's busted. Okay. Cave, brother. <laughs> This is so cool. Okay. Quickly before we do any more though, I'm just gonna use our restroom again, cause yeah, I've been drinking a lot of water and that's how I've been staying sharp-ish. <laughs> Gotta, yeah. One second. We've been going for seven hours. Uh, it's like I could do more, but it depends. I know we're right at the dungeon. Because if I do a stream tomorrow, it'll be a little bit earlier, like 11 a.m. Eastern, maybe. Go for a few hours. Uh, like 11 or 12 Eastern, go for like four hours at most, sort of thing. Uh, 
It's like, should I save this and everything else for that? Because if I finish the dungeon, I wouldn't do anything else after that. It would just be the epilogue stuff after, but... I didn't know this was going to be this much stuff for, for the dungeon. I'm still kind of thinking about that, because it's like... I also did a lot today. Hmm. I don't know. Seven hours of streaming is kind of a lot. And if this dungeon <laughs> is anything sizable, like Wind Temple, which was still pretty decent, it's just like... I wonder if I should just call it a rest, probably feed myself, honestly. I think I'm too much in the game. I, If I keep going today, I will not have the energy to stream tomorrow. Which, like... I'm not mad about it, because I know I'm really going to enjoy it, but I want to make sure I can grasp it, too. So, we can start just with stuff around and then do the dungeon, and then we can take that momentum into helping Goron City. Because I feel like if we end with the dungeon today, I'm not going to have enough energy to, like, just do all the stuff around Goron City, and I'll forget about it, I'll leave, like I did with Doritos, which I still have to go back to. This has been literally amazing. And we can make tomorrow a depth stream, doing the dungeon, more of the stuff around here, helping out the Gorons, like with like the post dungeon quests. I think it'll make for a really fun stream tomorrow because it's all stuff we can do within a few hours. And I'm just happy we did like this much stuff. Like the dungeon will be an awesome way to just really cement this progress, doing stuff around. But yeah, I think I need to make that official. I <laughs> Every plan I have is very loose because I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. So yeah. And maybe that's okay too because seven hours is a long time to be playing this game. <laughs> But literally, this might have been one of the, like, funnest game playing days I've ever had in my life. Like, just doing the whole quest to get to the fairy fountain was awesome. Uh, just, I don't know. We fought the Gleak on the bridge, so we fought the giant thing on top of Elden, like the precursor to this boss. We got the behemoth horse, so we did have some behemoth challenges that we took down today, consisting of two big adventures, and yeah, <laughs> now it's just a matter of well, next, doing this dungeon. More of this depths area, because I love this. This is definitely my favorite depths. Uh, help out the Gorons afterwards with the post-dungeon quests. Uh, I think I'll make for an awesome stream tomorrow. So I'll schedule it probably within the next, I don't know, like 20 to 30 minutes. I'll just have to make a thumbnail for it. Um, we'll probably go live, I want to say, like 11 or 12 Eastern. Because I am I have something going on during the night, so I can't stream too late. Uh, but I think it'll be awesome. Like, let's just... Let's just do that. Um, I'm very excited. Thank you guys for uh, watching. And yeah, we're going to talk about all this soon because we're already second dungeon out of four. Uh, yeah. Sorry, this was a great day. It's like, I feel like, okay, I'm at my limit. I appreciate everything I could. So let me get some rest. I'm well, some food because now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, I am like pretty hungry. So yeah, <laughs> this will easily make, make me want to keep going for another hour and a half. And yeah. Can't have that, but thank you. Like, I really appreciate it. Um, <laughs> hope you guys understand. Sorry, I'm just kind of laying out my last thoughts from this huge game stream, because this is probably the longest I've ever consistently played a Zelda game. Uh, at least in, like, recent years. I can't speak for whatever I did when I was, like, 10. Uh, but if anything, I'll breath the wall in this. Probably the longest consistent span. Uh, so thanks for watching. It was awesome. I can't wait to do this tomorrow. We'll have that stream scheduled. Be the hero of the Gorons. And uh, I'll see you all then. Thank you, and have a good night.